What is up everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion here on the channel. And we're starting this card with a little MMA. That is right, two MMA fights to start this card at the Lupini Boxing Arena in Bangkok, Thailand. The Madison Square Garden of Muay Thai. The Madison Square Garden of thailand ladies and gentlemen and shout out to everyone joining we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat so like this video we're setting the like goal at 20 likes today let's get this sucker to 20 likes smash that like button we do live fight companions every single weekend and we're starting off this busy busy friday we're gonna try to go four streams if not four fight companions and three fight companions and one member stream so shout out to all the exclusive members shout out to you all who support the channel and let's get into some violence we have an undefeated russian at five and oh with some aca experience we also have you know uzbekistan's taking over the mma world right now ufc and one championship we have asledin eskankulov who's facing the undefeated net nadir Aliyev. Two undefeated guys starting off this card. Mixed martial arts. We'll get right to your comments in a moment, but this fight's about to start, so let's get it on. Let's get it on. Round one, ladies and gentlemen, in this first fight on the card. MM made to start this card inside the low kick by Eshan Kulov in the red corner. Aliyev with a nice straight right jab. What's going on to everybody here in the comments? I'll give you guys a quick shout out before we get right back to the play by play. What's up, Arthur? It's good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Mr. Grant Gregory, one of our exclusive members. It was a good takedown there by Eshkan Kulov. As Eliev now is on his back. Vote in the poll question. Oh, Mr. Grant Gregory, you, you voted in the wrong, uh, or you, you picked the wrong answer <laughs> by accident. What's up, Diego? It's good to see you. Uh, Jesus, Benjamin answered your question. Thank you so much for answering his question, Benjamin. Benjamin, it's great to see you, buddy. Benjamin, another one of our exclusive members. What's up, Danny? Thank you so much for joining Diego. I'm supposed to see the Hall of Famers of the UFC yesterday. It was a special moment. Absolutely, Jens Pulver. Crack me up a little bit. Oh, hell yeah, referee Suleiman. Oh, Crippled Ham, I'm not on Instagram anymore. Sorry, buddy. I'm not on Instagram anymore. I mean, I'm there, but I'm not active. Sorry about that. Since you brought it up, I'll, I'll check, though. I, I've kind of just I deleted the app and everything. There's some shady shit that went down on Instagram last month, folks. So I kind of just... I feel gross whenever I'm on that app now. So it's my own little personal moral rule. Avoid Instagram. <laughs> Free and Ghani this fall. <sighs> Stupid ass exhibition match. Should have fought Chisora. For fans, I feel like that would have been the better fight. But hey, at least Ngani's getting his boxing match. At least he's getting paid, even though I'm pretty sure there's going to be a no knockdown clause, which is the dumbest shit ever. Oh, fuck. Oh, bro. Do you mean the ref replied to your Instagram comment? I thought you were talking about, bro, reply to my Instagram comment. Sorry, I read that wrong. My apologies. I am not on Instagram anymore, though. If you want to follow me, at VS Sports Talk on Twitter. Ooh, a nice heel stomp there by Aliyev. Aliyev on his feet right now. Two minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. Eshen Kulov on his back right now. Kicking his legs is Aliyev. But, yo, cri crippled him. That's awesome, buddy. It's cool that uh, the that official in one championship interacted with you on social. So far, I mean, other than Herb Dean, I don't really have any problems with any of the refs in one championship. Nothing too egregious. Oh, a nice left hand by Aliyev. Gets right back up to his feet. Eshan Kulov on his back, and there's another heel stomp by Aliyev. He uses it to get into half guard as... Eshan Kulov just nabbed it up and maybe he's going for or tried to threaten for a submission. But Aliyev, I mean, the guy's got technique. The guy's got some nice technique here. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock in this first round. Oh, there is a, a no knockdown rule. I saw the Eddie Hearn, uh, I didn't, not the tweet, but I saw some news outlet quote him. And then everyone ran with it. I don't think it was spinning back fist. It was um, some other MMA promotion or sorry. Um, Combat sports uh, news outlet. One minute and 29 seconds left. 
on the clock. Did you listen to Sean Strickland's podcast with uh, Joe Rogan yet, Mr. Grant Gregory? Uh, right at the end of the podcast, Sean talks about Ngannou and how much he loves him. And how he's uh, trained with him before. <laughs> and, and how he spars with him regularly. One minute and ten seconds on the clock here. Again, first of two mixed martial arts fights on the early portion of this card. And then we get into full-on Muay Thai. No kickboxing at all on this card. Oh, and there we go. Heel hook. Heel hook attempt. Heel hook attempt. Ashin Kulov, very, very comfortable on his back. Clearly, he's going for the heel hook. Oh, my goodness. It's tight. It's tight. Aliyev did a good job of rolling with that. He's trapped them both. Ashin Kulov trapped both of his legs here, deciding which one, uh, you know, which one I should actually fish for. Aliyev so far looks more well-rounded. Ashin Kulov, I mean, we know his game now. He's a submission guy. 25 seconds left. Both them on the ground here. Ashin Kulov has trapped Aliyev's legs here, and he's just kind of fending off, you know, whatever strikes he's throwing from the ground, looking to single out one of those heels to attack, but a little too late as there's only 10 seconds left on the clock in this round. And that is it for the first round. Again, Good morning to everyone in North America who's up watching this. Hope everyone out east is having a great day. Happy Friday, everybody. Also got uh, Vitaly, Big Dash, liking my comment. And Dongpun actually replied to my DMs, um, marking out for him scoring the contract. Dude, that is amazing, Cripple M. It's so cool to see, uh, you know, the, the athletes, the... Well, let's just, let's just let's, the stars of one <laughs> officials and fighters uh, interacting with the fans. That's super cool to see. And and you know what else is super cool to see? You, Crippled Hand, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm only halfway through the tricking one. I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Sean Strickland is more, he's more interesting than the Dosakis, man, I swear. Paulo's acting like he's actually going to fight Ali Skarov. I mean, it's... I, I even tweeted him and I was and people like I see all the the fight posters and stuff. And I'm like, Paulo, I mean, I thought you weren't gonna fight this guy. And he's big news next week, motherfuckers. All right, round two. Let's get it all. Well, something's going on with them. I mean, I know there's buzz because they're supposed to be fighting at 291. Finally, the I, I made a I shouldn't say finally made a little video talking about them. Oh, what a nice right hand. Bashun Kalov just drops Aliyev. He pounces hammer fist from the top position, grabbing the ropes to try to help him get back up his Aliyev. Aliyev does a good or does a smart move there. Is not going full Bular to put his whole body out of the ropes here. But uh, Ashin Kulov go for the choke. It's deep. Go for the choke. It's deep. It's deep. This could be it. Aliyev could tap. Rear naked choke. And that's it. That is a tap. That is a tap. What a submission victory. Oh my goodness. What a great win from the submission specialist. What did I say? Uzbekistan is taking over mixed martial arts, ladies and gentlemen, as he just defeated... Nadir Aliyev from Dagestan. Are the Uzbekistan guys the new Dagestanis? Holy shit, what a beautiful display of jiu-jitsu there. And, and power as it was that right hook that knocked down Aliyev there. Great work by Eshen Kulov. And it's always great to see on these cards the MMA fights deliver. Because I know, you know, the Thai fans, the Muay Thai fans, the kickboxing fans who watch these events, like they, they don't want to watch mixed martial arts. At least they got to see something uh something entertaining here. Wow. All right, back to the comments we go. Paolo's acting like he's gonna fight. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, which makes me sad for Costa because he's definitely gonna lose that. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a tough one for Paulo Costa. I have Ali Skarov winning as well. Gotta love that Dagestani privilege. Uh, question for you. Can we stream in 12 hours time? Same as last time, essentially, but live. I, I mean, as long as it doesn't interfere with LFA, I'm good to go. 
I posted my stream schedule uh, on the community tab. If, if it doesn't interfere with any of those, then then we're good to go. Just uh, hit, hit me up. Uh, hit me up on Twitter after this, Mister Grant Gregory, or uh, in in our Discord, and uh, and let's 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 bang out the time. Or bang out the time. Let's schedule the time. <laughs> let's bang it out and schedule a time. There we go. His foot gave away before that. Can't break his foot. Take his neck, right? Sheed, I got the first one correct. Yeah, guys, give, let me know your predictions uh, in the live chat as well. I'll get my predictions going for the next fights up this card. Hey, what's up, Zionist? I thought I wasn't going to see you until the next fight night, my man. It's good to see you, by the way. We are back with a fight night next week. It's a thin card, but Superlek coming in to save it as he does. By the way, speaking of Superlek, speaking of Superlek, vote in the poll question. Do you think Rod Tang... Is dodging Superlek? Do you think Rod Tang is dodging that new Japanese K1 star? Do you think he's dodging both? Do you think he's dodging neither? Let me know in the live chat. Yeah, Mr. Grant Gregory. Um, you don't have our, you know, you don't have our Discord as an exclusive member. You get access to our Discord, my man. So give me one sec here. I'm, I'm literally just gonna send you send it to you on Twitter. Because like what it would, I mean, I, I will reply quicker on Twitter. But if Discord's easy for you to talk, like if you want to just like have a quick call. Um, I mean, I suppose we could do it on StreamYard as well, but uh, I'm going to hook you up with the, the Discord link here because uh, that's what you, that's one of the perks you get for becoming an exclusive member. And by the way, shout out to everyone on the Discord. I mean, the Discord's been buzzing lately, which is super cool to see. And if you're new to this channel, guys, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. We do fight companions every single weekend. We're starting off the weekend strong here today with one championship. And uh, check out our community tab because we have, whew, boy, do we have a big Friday here of fights. Originally scheduled for four fight companions today. We might scratch the one at noon. We might scratch the one at noon because I want to get, I want to finish filming my predictions video. Actually, I'll finish editing it. It is filmed. It's, it's done. We're good to go. Um, but I want to make sure I have that UFC predictions video out for you guys tomorrow or tonight if if I can. Uh, Mr. Grant, I'm sending you. Do, 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 do. Here's the City Life Discord link. And folks, if you become an exclusive member on the channel, one month, six months, it, it doesn't matter. You will always get access to the Discord. So one-time subscription gets you access to the Discord. Obviously, you have to continue to be a member if you want to join our member streams. And we're going, oh my God, why does Tapology do this, man? It's been tripping out lately whenever I share it on this app. Anyway, second MMA fight coming up next year, folks. They are about to make their walkout. We will highlight them in just a moment. If this tab can agree with me here. But yeah, again, um, by becoming an exclusive member, various perks, one of which, two of which are uh, becoming or access to our Discord, and you will have lifetime access to the Discord upon one membership. And uh, yeah, we're starting to roll out again the, the membership streams, making up for the last two weeks. M and again, we're, we're, we're hoping to squeeze in one more in today. If not, we'll be back doing them every Monday. I just worked on the ones who look like they got a tough chin and bulky delts for unknown MMA fighters. Crippled hand, that, that's a good... Uh, those are good rules to follow. Gravedigger Jones, I mean, assuming there's a Brazilian in the fight, Gravedigger Jones, I go by his rule. If you don't know the fighters, choose the Brazilian. <laughs> Hello. No, Rod Tang is king. Look, I, uh, I'm not as bullish on Rod Tang as Jamie is on Twitter. Jamie the Muay Thai, the Muay Thai supremacist, as he likes to say. However, I will say, Rod Tang is dodging super. Like, I don't know about the K1 star. You know, they've been going back and forth with, with words on social and whatnot. And I think eventually they'll fight. But I do think Rod Tang is scared to fight super. Like, I, I'm, I'm convinced at this point. Uh, Rod Tang ain't dodging shit until I see him tap out like Bob Sap. To be honest, <laughs> I think he's scared of Superlek. Personally, I don't think he wants. I don't think he wants that smoke. How do you rate UFC 290? Like as far as like a flawless card, I mean, on paper it's a good. It's a good like seven and a half, eight out of ten. Got it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, the what's cool about the Discord, it's like 
a lot of the regulars, as you'll see, a lot of the exclusive members and past exclusive members, Mr. Gregory, we all just shoot the breeze in the Discord, kind of like we we do in the live chat here. But and Benjamin describes it perfectly. It's like it's like us hanging out in the live chat, but uh, when he's just not streaming. <laughs> What's up, Jay Herbo? Good morning, my man. How are you, buddy? He is smart to hold off on that. Make the super elect fight a super super fight. Well, he pulled out. He pulled out. Like, what was it? Uh, two months ago. In your announcement, you said you want to do the whole UFC fight. Will you at least be there for the good fights? Well, probably. I mean, what What are the good fights? Towards the, I'm going to OAR, buddy. I'm going to OAR. So I got a concert to go to. So I'll be streaming until until the Uber arrives. <laughs> But he got us tickets to uh to see OAR. And for those for those 90s kids, those 80s kids, 80s and 90s kids out there who grew up in North America, I mean, when you got a chance to go see OAR, you gotta take it. You see 91 is pretty damn good. 8.8. It's hard for me to rate a card before. I mean, I like rating cards after, but on paper, just um, you know, on paper, we'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. What's up, phony? So people let the fight begin. 290 is a pretty good card, but 291 Gagey Dustin, let's go. And Alex versus Jan. Yeah, I did a little predictions video for UFC 291, folks. If you want to check that out already. Yes, and now you want that fight even more smart marketing. I mean, now I've lost respect for Rod Tang. So I don't, I mean, I don't know if smart marketing or not, but uh it's super like he's my favorite Muay Thai fight or kickboxing fighter so far. I mean, the guy is he's incredible. And he's crushed less cans than Rod Tang. The one thing I would say for Rod Tang, though, the man with the iron chin, the man has fought so many fights and he's been fighting since he was just a wee lad. I don't necessarily, like I said, I don't, I don't dis, <laughs> I'm not as bullish on that whole situation as Jamie is on Twitter, but I want to, I want to gauge your guys' you know, the MMA fans and those Muay Thai fans who join the live chat to their thoughts because Twitter's going crazy. I feel like Twitter's turning on Rod Tang right now. Uh, it's a band, Jay Herbo. And Mr. Grant Gregory, one of the, they're kind of like a mix of Sublime and Dispatch. All right, folks, round one of this second MMA fight on the card. We will highlight both of these guys between rounds if we even get there as the last fight ended in the first round. Just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. All right, let's get it on. Four minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Let's get it on. Mora versus. Shauru Ramazanov. Brazil versus Russia. Let's go. Both of them still on their feet right now. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> Left hand there by Mura as he comes in swinging. Oh, I thought Fairtex was your favorite Muay Thai fighter. Oh. For very different reasons. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. But that's why I'm loading up uh, the fight companions here today, Jay Herbo. Jay Herbo. We're aiming to do four. Four streams in total for sure, whether that's three fight companions and one member stream. And then I'm um, linking up with Mr. Grant Gregory to do uh, some content with him today as well. Uh, what's up, Vasco? Fabio Reyes is Portuguese. And he's going to win. It's good to see you, buddy. I've never been to a concert before, but I'm going to Wu-Tang and Nas in October. If you know them, do, do I know them? Holy fuck. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a you motherfucker. lucky son of a bitch. That is amazing. For your first concert, those are legends. Absolute legends. I've seen Wu-Tang, but I've never seen Nas. That is amazing. Nas is one of the greatest rappers of all time, dude. He's like, he's in my top five. He is unbelievable. Illmatic is in my top three hip-hop albums of all time like that is incredible buddy i i'm a con like i'm a before i got into sports as hardcore as i am now like music was my thing by the way three minutes on the clock here they're both standing which is what you want to see from a brazilian and a russian here in one championship fighting to get a contract to fight in this promotion another day two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock swinging oh nice mura landed a left hook and that shook up the russian now the russian's going for the takedown can't get it. The Brazilian does a good job of stuffing it. Let's see if you guys can fight at the same pace throughout this fight. But halfway through this first round, it has been a stand up banger. But no, I, I was definitely more of a music guy 
in high school when I was a kid. Nice knee to the body there by Mura. And every paycheck, I started working when I was 14 years old. Every paycheck, I'd buy two CDs. And and by the end of the month, I'd go to a concert, whether it was a local show, whether I'd, you know, <laughs> whether I'd call, you know, the, the, the I, I, it's too long of a story of how I was able to stay in hotels under, you know, without a credit card and under uh, 21 or 18, I guess, in, in Canada. It, that's a story for like a member stream or another day. But I was able to go to Vancouver from Vancouver Island, the big city and go to at least one big concert or one local show a month. So I have like a massive shoebox full of concert tickets. I've probably gone to over, over 150 to 200 shows and I got more CDs than I can even count now because of that. I've spent thousands of dollars on, <laughs> on records. Uh, one minute and 34 seconds on the clock here in the first round. Great job by Sharu Ramazanov. Forgetting the back of Mura Mura, crawling to get back up to his feet here. Knees to the side of the body of Mura. Again, knees to the ground of the opponent. You can do that in this league. That is why this league is amazing. UFC, I honestly, I, I'm, I'm, UFC starting to annoy me these days. So many opportunities for knees to the ground of opponents. And it's just like, it's such, it's sissy ass rules, man. And the UFC really needs to, they need to get with the times. <laughs> One minute left on the clock here. Start having all the shows in Colorado. 55 seconds on the clock. Sha Sharu Ramazanov still holding the back of Muramura, desperately trying to get back up to his feet. He's got his right knee planted and his left foot planted. Patrolling his back right now is the Russian. Dude, that is awesome, man. That is awesome. No, seriously, like what a what a first concert to go to. You're that that's amazing. Oh, a nice knee to the head of Mura. 21 seconds left. Russian last names only have eight letters, but are 17 characters long. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Okay, so who are the other four all-time rappers? And that's it for the first round. Um, I would say... No, I would say... Um, MF Doom is definitely... I think, And the order of them changes because it's just, you know... MF Doom, Eminem... Um, buh, 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 buh. And then for me, I would say Anderson Pack. And you can make an argument for so many other ones, man. Like, whether... what. Whether he's one of the greatest rappers slash producers slash anything he touches turns to gold. I mean, Dr. Dre, he's got to be up there, even though just talent wise and rapping, like like actually performing, probably not on the level of some of those. But for me, he was so influential. Um, yeah, I mean, those, those are my guys. Those, I mean, I guess uh, what's his name now? Yazin Bey. <laughs> Brooklyn represent most deaf. I listened to so much most deaf growing up as well. Biggie Smalls for me has to be up there. I mean, look, I got him on my on my table. Biggie Smalls for me is probably right under MF Doom as like one two. Anyways, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Respect Tupac was never a big fan. I was way more of a Biggie guy. His flow, I mean, pff, unmatched. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock here. Second round and the Russian going for another takedown. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Music and sports are my hobbies. Love it, dude. That That's me too. The forbidden Russian and Dagestan rule on voting. Don't vote on an unknown... Gomedov, vote on someone who ends with Dov or Nov. <laughs> right? Eminem, Biggie, Tupac, Nos, B.I.G. Dude, those are those are great picks there. I feel like MF Doom is always overlooked. Oh, and a spinning heel kick and a left hand by Mura to answer there. Back up on their feet. I love what, uh, what, what... I think this is what Dr. Dre said about MF Doom. That he's your favorite rappers favorite rapper 
As far as new guys out there, like I said, Anderson Pack is blown. Like I've seen him in concert. The guy rapped while he was playing drums with his live band. He was unbelievable. And as far as like some new guys, Isaiah Rashad is unbelievable. Isaiah Rashad right now is probably my favorite modern rapper. Uh, Cordy's pretty good as well, but yet to yet to to make his stamp in those rankings. But uh, Isaiah Rashad right now is is truly incredible. Uh, da, 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 da. I agree with no curb stomping, but knees. Imagine Jan's legacy if that was allowed. Dude, I, I, the fact that Jan is still in the UFC pisses me off. He should be in Ryzen or one championship. It's, it's, the, the UFC is ruining Jan, and I hate it. I hate it. I, I, I never want to see Jan fight in the UFC again. I want to see him fight in one championship or Ryzen. UFC is way too much of a sissy league for a real fighter like Jan. Two minutes and 28 seconds on the clock here in this second round. Sharu Ramazanov was in the top position. Moore did a good job of kicking him off. Honestly, for someone with the wrestling pressure that this Russian is putting on Mura, I mean, Mura's doing a good job of scrambling when he's up against the ropes there to get back into up onto his feet and his guard work thus far hasn't been too bad he's not taking a lot of shots here he's got a tight guard he's not scrambling he's not moving a lot here spoke too soon now he is and he was doing a good job there to threaten an arm bar to advance his position but can't Get the Russian out of his guard. One minute, 38 seconds on the clock. Oh, that's awesome, dude. My middle name story is way less cool than that. This is like the alternate dimensions. Tony Ferguson versus Habib. What's up, foul one? One of our exclusive members here on the channel. It's good to see you, buddy. Mr. Grant Gregory, he's dead. <laughs> That's why he passed away. Rest in peace, MF Doom. He uh he left his last label to do his last two albums, I believe, in Minnesota with Rhyme Sayers too. And again, these might be deep cuts for some of you guys, but like I grew up on the likes of Rhyme Sayers. I grew up on Atmosphere, Idea, that underground scene as well. Oh, he's again your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, MF Doom's flow. And, I mean, his producer, oh, man, he, he's one of the greatest of all times. And I've seen Anderson Pack. He, he's amazing. Like, I've, I've never seen a hip-hop artist play drums while he's rapping with a live band. It's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Twenty-three seconds on the clock. I mean, the game's first album with Dr. Dre was unbelievable as well. Like I said, like the order and all that stuff changes. But uh, no, I was I was a pretty big hip hop head back in the day. I like I like all music, but dubstep pretty much. And last few seconds of this round. And that's it for the second round. Moore was in the bottom position again to end that round. Weather the storm, but I think... Uh, Shah Kruramazanov <laughs> is up two rounds to none. My boy looked like Korean, but he danced like MJ. <laughs> what about Easy Mac, Tom McDonald, Mad Child? Hey, you know what? Mad Child, that's my friend's cousin. He's, uh, he's from Vancouver. I do like swollen members. Classified two out of Canada. Yeah, swollen members, classified, love them as well, but to put them at like on my Mount Rushmore, I mean, they weren't the ones that influenced and like it like influenced my my love of hip hop, but they definitely were awesome. Very much West Coast, you know, style guy. Except for uh, I, like I said, I I saw I met, or I saw um uh why am I most deaf a couple times in concert. Pff, that was awesome. All right, round three. Let's get it. Method Man. Sorry, I'm like way behind your guys' comments, but I'm trying to keep my eye on the fight here as well, but this is awesome. I'll, I'll start ripping through them here. Four minutes and 43 seconds on the clock here. Third and final round. First round, Mura 
close, but I think the Russian narrowly took that one second round. I think the Russian had a better round. I do think he's up two rounds to none. But again, this is one championship, so the fight is judged as a whole. If Mura can weather the storm here, if Mura can get back up to his feet as he's gotten taken down again here and actually lay down some damage, end this fight in the top position, he could sway the judges. But right now, if the fight ended at this moment, on their feet or not, I'm giving it to the Russian. And just relentless pressure now. As soon as Mura gets back up to his feet, the Russian goes right back to take him to the ground. One minute into this third round. All right, let's get to some of these comments here. If uh, there's people in the chat who are like, Isha, we need the play-by-play, -play, just start peppering me with that, and we'll get right back to it, because I am like pages and pages and pages behind on your comments. All right. Da -da 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 -da. We're now, now I'm completely lost. One sec, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Biggie was a better rapper. Tubac was a better artist. There is a difference. I would say Biggie was a better musician all around. Um, Tupac, and again, I like, don't want to disrespect him at all. He was just, I, I would say he was, he was, actually, you know what? I, I would push back on that. I would say Biggie was just as much of an artist. I would say that Tupac had the opportunity and had way more inspiration and you know times not the right word but opportunity to like because Tupac recorded so much right whereas Biggie like there, there's not a lot right we got we got the rest of the library and uh it's quite a bit of songs but nowhere near that of, of Tupac um Tupac was in my opinion more of an entertainer more of a I mean, I, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to diminish it at all, but I would say that Biggie was just as so much of an artist because Biggie, Biggie definitely came from a more music background, right? Matching his flow to, what was it, to, to saxophone solos and things like that, or trumpet solos and things like that. Yeah, I'm a music junkie and fighting junkie, but also love cars and trucks. I love it, phony. I love it. No, I love how we're all into music here. Benjamin's a really talented musician in, in the live chat, too, guys. I want to get into making beats. He's the Norm McDonald of rap. Uh, top five for me, Method Man, Biggie, or Big L, Gangstar, uh, Dizzy Rascal, and Dell the Funky Homo Sapien based on my five favorite albums. I love it. I love it. Method Man too. Yeah, he's... I mean, it's like, there's so many good ones out there. That's why it's, it's so hard to just say, like, to, to give a top five. Sticky fingers. Andre 3000. Yeah. I listen to underground like Vinnie Paz. And doo -doo -doo. oh, I actually haven't heard Stu Bangas. I haven't heard Stu Bangas. I used to listen to a lot of underground. My friend, uh, I had a couple of friends I worked with who were like pretty much in the underground rap scene in Canada. Western Canada anyways, and they would just burn me so many CDs. So I never knew the, the name. Like I've probably heard of a lot of these underground artists or I've probably heard of a lot. How should I say this? I should know the names of a lot of underground artists, but I just never did. Cause I just had them on blank CDs and like 20, 20 track burnt CDs that I would just listen to throughout high school. And when I got like my first car and everything. Right. So I regret not like asking for <laughs> the names and the, the track lists and things like that. But Definitely got my fill of underground hip hop as well growing up. I prefer rap over hip hop. <laughs> 50 Cent song aged well. <laughs> uh, Alonzo Minifield winning the rematch again. Jimmy Croup by knockout. Uh, <laughs> known for his inspiration, inspiring lyrics. Like, let me get that needle past it. I'm a junkie bastard. <laughs> 15 seconds left in this third round, folks. Taking the back of Mura again is Shak Ramazanov ending this fight in the better position. Ending this fight with control. Oh! End of the third round and the Russian here throws an extra shot at the Brazilian. And now they showed a display of respect. Looks like his wires might have, might have crossed there right at the end of the fight. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the fight. That is the end of the fight. Not as an exciting 
MMA fight as the first one we saw. Obviously, the first one ended with a finish, a knockdown, and a submission. But I would say the first round of this fight, action-packed. The pace was relentless, but as soon as the Russian started employing his wrestling, we all knew how this was going to go. We all knew how this was going to go. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. My soul would be so crushed if I was dominated in the top position by an opponent, but since I'm near the ropes, the ref stops it, drags us back in the middle, get to position, and just get to murder again. It's definitely a different uh, it's, it's a different game in the ring versus the cage in mixed martial arts. And it's funny because a lot of mixed martial artists who fought in pride, like a lot of them really like it. Like I mean, like for example, like Rampage. He he's like he he. I don't think he's ever said he prefers it, but he does like he does like it. He doesn't. To him, I remember him saying on podcasts that's it's. He doesn't prefer one of the one or the other. He game plans for for, whatever one he's fighting in. All right, so the Russian got the unanimous decision. I'm not surprised, motherfucker. All right, time for me to catch up with some of your comments, guys. Sorry about that. Like I said. <laughs> Watching the fights and the music topics, we're talking about hip hop, we're talking about music, and the chat blows up. That warms my soul as someone who's, you know, I got my guitars right next to me over here. Like, that's fucking amazing. For someone who started this channel originally with Kyle to be a full on music channel, now we're kind of a fight and music hybrid channel. Uh, Mur needs to move to the state, change his nickname to Amuraka. <laughs> Tupac, Biggie, pun and big. I didn't live long, live long enough. To put out enough songs, or packing big didn't live enough, didn't live long enough to put out enough songs. Uh, anyone who says Tupac over Biggie is a follower, not a real music enthusiast. Sorry, not sorry. Look, I mean, like I said, I respect them both. I just, I always was drawn to to Biggie. I always, you know, his flow for me was. It, it's just I preferred it more than like the the aggressive, uh, the aggressive style of Tupac. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be awesome. Jimmy Crute for the win, says Mr. Grant Gregory. One sided fight. I think Jimmy Crute will win that one too. Do, 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 do. Second prediction correct again for Crippled Ham. That's awesome, buddy. Uh, Ryzen is such a great promotion, it's just a savage. Crazy, exciting promotion, which I love about Ryzen, man. How do you describe Ryzen in your way? Well, it's uh, it's the second coming of Pride. It's the diluted version of Pride, but in the day of 2023, it's still absolutely insane. I would say that it's it's the most like savage out of all the the promotions, you know that that aren't hosting, you know, primarily left way bouts. The fact that you can soccer kick, the fact that people game plan to employ the knees, the fact that the kickboxing fights are just as exciting. Hell, some of them even more exciting than one championship's kickboxing bouts. I would say that if you want to see violence, whether the fighters are at an elite level or not, they could be, they could be guys or gals with like three and seven records, right? Three wins, seven losses. Now, usually it's not that extreme, but let's use that as an example. And the fights will still be exciting. Will they be the most technically sound? Not necessarily, but they will be violent as hell. And that's what I, that's what I love about Ryzen. And it's a show. It's, it's something you look forward to monthly because you're sitting there during the intros almost shedding a tear. It's so beautiful. Lene Hart announcing the names of the fighters. Like, there's nothing like it. Now, if we're us watching it in North America, the English broadcasters, they they aren't the greatest at getting you pumped up, let's just say. But um, hey, there are worse. There are worse announcers out there. Fuck. I applied. I applied to to work for Ryzen. I was like, guys, I'm I'm up uh, all night anyways. You might as well let me do some color or some uh well, I didn't say that in my application, but you know what I mean. But never heard back from them, never heard back from them. I miss the rap video game days like Def Jam and 50 Cent Bulletproof. 
Uh, Nongam going to smash in the next fight. And yes, we move over to Muay Thai for the rest of this card, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be nothing but Muay Thai. No kickboxing on this card at all. They're holding a lot of their kickboxing. Or they're, we're gonna, I shouldn't say they're holding. We will see a lot more kickboxing on next week's fight night. That is right. Next Friday, one championship fight night returns. And hey, I was listening to some podcasts that cover one championship and um, Asian mi mixed martial arts and combat sports. Shots are saying that they're bringing back the numbered events too. So not only will we have fight nights, not only will we have Lupini events, you know, knock on wood, they renew the deal with Lupini to keep on doing this, but we're going to have numbered events back, ladies and gentlemen. I believe we're on one, one championship, 167, 168, if I'm not mistaken. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment driven live stream, as you know, and, I love the conversations here. I love the conversations here, guys. And thank you for asking me, you know, those qu the questions like, what are my favorite hip hop artists and things like that? And again, for me, like it's it's fluid. It, it constantly changes. But I have I have my mainstays. Um, shoot, I'm uh, who's the I'm missing someone. Freddie Gibbs. As far as modern rappers too, I'd say my favorite modern rappers today or modern hip hop artists, whatever you want to call it, um, Anderson Pack, Freddie Gibbs, and Isaiah Rashad. They all three of them are unbelievable. I would get, I mean, and f honestly, guys, and this might be sacrilege. I, I think Freddie Gibbs is better than Tupac. And that's not to disrespect Tupac. He paved the way for that style. But if you listen to Freddie Gibbs, he is a more, comp I shouldn't even say this, but in, in, as, as from a musician's point of view, it, it's more complete. Like, oh man, Freddie Gibbs, like he, he's so fucking good, man. I, I would love to see him live. How do you expect the Crew versus Menafield fight to be one-sided when the first fight was a draw? See, I don't think it's going to be one-sided. I know this was to, to the chat here. Kroot, he's 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 like he's hot and cold for me. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I'm like, all right, I'm I'm super confident in him, and sometimes it's like, oh man, you just leave yourself wide open there. Um, I do think Kroot just is the better fighter. I do think Kroot will get it done. Biggie was a way better artist, made all types of songs, just not hard to rap. He was a good artist, yeah. Uh, recycled a lot of content, basically said the same crap. Uh, I don't get how kickboxing is one of the biggest sports out there. I, I honestly, man, I don't know either. I don't. I know in the what was it in the nineties? American kickboxing was pretty big with all the with the rise of like martial arts movies and things like that, but. Man, like I'm, I'm waving the flag. Like North Americans, they complain all the time. I don't want to see the grappling. I have no interest in jujitsu. What is this wrestling? That's not wrestling. I need to get that from South Park. That um, that soundbite and put it on my soundboard. And, and they all make fun of me. Oh, we don't want to see this. Oh, you're watching a jujitsu tournament. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, guys, if you just want to see striking, Muay Thai and kickboxing, like. <laughs> I don't know. And maybe Mr. Grant Gregory Ryzen, you know, it's great for those, you know, who don't know where to look. They're not going to stay up all night and, and watch this shit, especially because it's not on TV. It's on fight TV. It's pay-per-view. But the fact that people aren't watching these Friday fights, the fact that people aren't re-watching whatever kickboxing that, um, that Thailand and various Thai promotions stream on YouTube, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy because it is one of the greatest sports. Uh, get a girl who is as loyal to Pride FC successors as Lena Hart, right? Dream and Ryzen today. Um, her and I have been exchanging emails back and forth. Um, we're looking at a time where we're hopefully hopefully scheduling a time soon uh, for me to interview her. Whether the content turns out to 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 put on the channel, that's the goal. But I mean, just to talk to a legend like that, I'm I'm excited. She's obviously super busy right now but uh yeah i mean this one's actually gonna happen for vola i mean he's he's he hasn't been ghosting me but he's been stringing me along for way too long so i'm less confident in that interview happening who are the worst announcers that aren't called tito <laughs> it was Bob Lou sabral right that he was interviewing um blah, blah, blah. man as much as i love randy couture he ain't that great let's be honest um in the ufc i mean if Dominic Cruz had like any sense of like 
oomph, <laughs> any emotion, I feel like he would be a lot better. But yeah, he's not that great either. Yeah, let you should be color. I, I, I want to so bad. I want to so bad. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh, yeah. Um, what was that? That was one of uh, Easy E's last... Uh, Last groups that he that uh, him and the label produced. Swollen members, man. Oh, Canada. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. <laughs> I don't even know what mumble rap is. All right, two minutes and forty three seconds on the clock. A nice one two by Nongam again. Nongam against Briarly here. Lisa Briarly out of the United Kingdom. Nong, I'm fair Texas, who I'm picking to win this one. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. We'll get right back to your comments, folks. We'll get right back to your comments. But uh, we got some Muay Thai on the screen, so we're going to focus on that. Between rounds, we'll get back to your comments, and between fights, we'll get back to your comments as well. Thank you so much for the interaction here today. I mean, so many comments. From uh, from our from the regulars, from the exclusive members, from our small community here today, and I can barely keep up. So that is amazing. That is a good problem to have on my front. Two minutes on the clock here. What a nice one-two by Briarly. Briarly's got the range. He's a little bit taller than Nongam. Oh, and a nice knockdown by Nongam. A right hand drops Briarly. A right hand drops Briarly. Oh, Briarly's she's stumbling. She's stumbling. And the fight is over. The fight is over. Just it. like that. Over. Just like that. Get the fuck out of here. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh, oh bitch. What a knockdown. Holy fuck. She's still wobbling. She's still seeing the Tweety Birds. Holy fuck. Wow. There was this stupid TV show in the 80s that hosted stage kickboxing fights, killed the vibes. God damn it. Somebody check this Fairtex fighter's chromosomes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Muay Thai is the best. I agree on that one. Oh, what a shot here. Boom. Straight right to the nose. Straight right to the nose. Straight right to the motherfucking nose. Boom, bitch. Wow. Don't forget about Lloyd Banks. Done. I'm book I'm I'm bookmarking uh, all these suggestions you guys have. Oh, Mad Child was in it as well. Um, actually my first gig in radio guys, my first gig in sports radio, the radio station was in the same building as, um, the music, one of the music clubs in Nanaimo, uh, Vancouver Island, Canada, uh, the music club shout the Queens was above us in the basement was the radio station and mad child's recording studio. So, uh, I, every Sunday I had a sports or yeah, a hockey and sports radio show. A two-hour slot every Sunday. Shout the old stick and rink crew, and uh, every every now and then, you know, every now and then we'd see uh, we'd see a bunch of music artists or hear a bunch of recording sessions next door, and it was pretty cool. Dropping gems, yeah, guys. Thank you, thank you for the suggestions, and I love how you guys all have good taste in music too, or at least hip hop. <laughs> Easy dies of A's and hardly gets mentioned. Coben blows his brains out because of a. Becomes a legend in music history ain't right. It's crazy. I mean, it was just the new generation doesn't doesn't know. I mean, shout out to the I mean, straight out of Compton, they did a good job of retelling the story, which was awesome to see. And I feel like that got a lot of young, you know, got got a lot of young hip hop fans, a lot of just younger younger guys and gals. Um, at least into easy e into death row you know into some of these uh you know into some of these legends music easy as well 
which is pretty cool. And then that uh, documentary on Jimmy Iovine, the four part documentary, I forget the name of it off the top of my head. Um, was was unbelievable as well and I, and I feel like that helped at least bring some respect to to the legends in the game uh can't believe one fc exploded after ben asking sacrificed himself to the ufc goaded move that's why he's my welterweight way go no i'm sad <laughs> it's so crazy I, I i always forget ben Askren. like dominated one for a little while i told you so and you believed it for a reason Holy shit, third prediction, prediction correct. I am goaded. What is up, Flaws Forgotten Fifi? I cannot read Thai, my man. <laughs> I cannot read Thai, my man. And I love he's going, he's going, Mr. Grant Gregory. <laughs> Sorry, Chief, I don't know what you're saying. All I can say is I agree. Oh, phony, not a fan of Easy E. Uh, Cardinal official. What a KO. Wow. Flods, we all speak in English here, buddy. I like music. Music is cool. Yeah, Benjamin's a hell of a musician, guys. <laughs> I play guitar and sing. I wouldn't even label myself a musician like the likes of Benjamin and Kyle. Kyle, the co-creator of the channel, who's dropping his singles every single month, by the way, guys. In the description of every video, in the uh, com in the pinned comment of every video, um, we're pumping Kyle's music. We just posted a, a video of him playing a show recently as well. I mean, he's gone solo now. He fronted three bands before, and he's records with all of them before going solo, and this is his second solo record. He's dropping singles every single month. Dude, phony. I love that, man. I love that. Ishii, you're a musician, man. Don't sell yourself. Oh, I'm 100% selling myself short. I am not a musician. <laughs> I play music. I like jamming. I can sing and play guitar. To, to, call, to call me a musician would be a slap in the face to Benjamin. <laughs> so I am not a musician. <laughs> I've, I've, I, I can play gigs. I can get on. I can get on the mic. I can front man a band, but I am not the music you know what i'm saying i can put on a show i can entertain i can keep up i can jam but yeah no like i said that would be disrespecting benjamin <laughs> he sent me some clips on uh on twitter oh and uh, getting the bonus that's awesome getting the bonus is nongam giving a pretty heartfelt speech right now I love this uh, translator, by the way. This this translator in one championship gives the Portuguese guy a run for his money in the UFC. Like, no joke. This guy gets just as passionate. What is up, Zoomer Loyalists? What is up, Zoomer Loyalists? It's good to see you, buddy. One of our exclusive members here on the channel, Zoomer Loyalists. Flods translated. I got. I go to Google. Thank you, Flods. Hello and welcome, you all. Well, welcome, Flods. Welcome to you. Shout out, Flods, everybody. <laughs> He tried Thai, he tried what I think is Chinese, and now he is translating and talking in English. Thank you so much, Flods. It's good to see you. Let's go. One Friday Fights 24. If you guys haven't already liked this video, smash that like button. We're trying to get to 20 likes. It's not, we're not setting the bar too high. We're just set 20 likes. If we can get to 20 likes, that would be amazing. The more likes we get throughout this stream, the more YouTube pushes our video so that we can... Hang out with more combat sports fans. We can grow our community. And we get more eyes and ears on the channel. Reaching people like flawed. So shout out to all of you folks. We do live fight companions every single weekend. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. I want to know who voted no to the poll. Oh, that's Mr. Grant. Don't get him started. Don't get him started. <laughs> Stamp in the crowd. I love her. And like, look, I know she's no like Tracy Cortez or anything, but I'm for some reason I'm I'm just hopelessly attracted to her. I have I'm, I've been crushing on Stamp since the day since the day I saw her elbow some bitch in the face. And the walkouts help. 
<laughs> Shout out to everyone who's joining again. You guys are amazing. What an like what a crowd. What a crowd. What a music conversation to start this uh the stream off i mean I, look every morning when uh every friday morning when we do these friday fights like i never expect the the chat to be as buzzing at as as it is whether it's five people 10 people 20 people you guys are amazing knock on wood we don't uh my breaker doesn't blow and then we don't get an xfinity outage on the street like we did last week Last week, though, we came back. We only missed two fights. We came back strong, but uh, no. Here we are. So far, so good. And I want to say a big thank you to everyone. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Um, Foul One and I, we still have to put together our... Foul One, you know, I want to do it soon, buddy. Everyone's releasing tier lists. I feel like that's the trend. We got we to gotta stay on top of trends on YouTube, right? I'm like the worst for staying. I'm just not like a traditional YouTuber. I'm doing everything wrong. Kyle and I are doing it our way, which is probably why we're not famous yet. <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, let, let's, get that, let's get that tier list going. The Guru already did, you know... And, and he did a tremendous job with his tier list. Um, loved Veronica Hardy uh, <laughs> commenting on it as well, by the way. And, I mean, she's, oh my God, she's an unbelievable. She's a fucking goddess in her own right. Um, but we have to get together our tier list for the ring girls. And KSW, we already, I, I think is already an S tier, unless you can think of a different one. But uh, I feel like we could cause some waves with that tier list. What do you, what do you think, guys? I know Foul One and I, we, we got to put that shit together. It was me. Yeah, there's just something about her. There's something about her. Tracy Cortez is the only one who's Tracy Cortez. How, how about the, the Paulo Costa stirring the pot there? <laughs> it's going to be sad to see Robbie Lawler fight one more time this weekend. What's your favorite Robbie Lawler moment? I fucking love that Rory McDonald fight. What a banger of a fight that was. Yeah, Rory McDonald. Donald and Robbie Lawler too was probably the most legendary Robbie Lawler war. Um, I mean, him and Nick Diaz was awesome. Um, him winning the the belt. I mean, actually, both of his fights with uh, Hendricks were really good. Um, I mean, the second version of Robbie when he when he came back to the UFC after his like strike force run. Uh, the Robbie who went to kill Cliff. You know, that that Robbie Lawler was just, he's something else, man. He's something else. So, I mean, other than the obvious ones, you know, the the, the old Nick Diaz fight, even though he lost that one, it's just still legendary. Um, the Roy McDonald fight, the second one, and then his fights with, with Hendricks were just, were awesome. And I, I know I'm missing some too, because he would just, he would just rag, like, the thing is, like, his wrestling was good too. He would ragdoll guys. Punch him in the face, stand them back up, knock them down. I mean, he was ruthless, man, for a reason. And uh, yeah, all respect to Robbie Lawler riding into the sunset. It's, it's awesome that he's still going to be involved uh, with combat sports, with mixed martial arts, cornering um, and cornering young fighters, and and him admitting and saying, you know, I want to give back to the community, give back to the MMA community that uh, that shaped me. What an absolute beauty. Uh, but uh, we have someone who name whose name ends in mauve. It's the new takeover. Got to go with it. <laughs> what happened to the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Sublime, Sum Forty One, Three Doors Down, all of the '90s alt rock stuff. I mean, just the '90s alt rock style is just it's just gone. Like it's just music. Mainstream music has evolved yet again, and it's. What's tough is it's oversaturated. Radio doesn't play good shit anymore, and you have to really dig and look in Spotify and Apple Music or whatever to find the good stuff. Now, I do like how like Spotify is um, whatever their their algorithm and their their AI or whatever does suggest pretty damn good new music and even old music and music that I just never seem to find to me. But uh, gone are the other days of, like I said, every paycheck after high school, going to the record store and just buying two new CDs on the shelf. What are, what are the two new bands? Okay, this one's local. This one's national. All right, let's do it. 
I have so many, I have so many records of bands who I didn't even know who they were going in. And I would just, you know, that was my rule. Every paycheck, you have to buy two CDs or two records. But uh, no, I've seen some 41 in concert. That was awesome. Uh, Chili Peppers. I never got to see them in concert, but they're one of my favorite. They're one of my favorite bands. Um, I mean, dude, like Stadium Arcadium. And a lot of people are like, well, they've had better albums before then. Oh, sure. Sure. They, I, I, Blood, Sugar, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, unbelievable as well. But for me, Stadium Arcadium is one of the greatest albums of all time. Four, almost 40 tracks. Are you kidding me? And you will never skip one. How amazing is that? Shout out Jupiter and Mars. What's up, JL? One of our exclusive members. It's good to see you, buddy. Individual girls or promotions? Promotions, ring girls. It's not the individual ring girls themselves because it's kind of, I mean, it's hard to get all the information on them in different leagues. But uh, as far as like leagues, and then we'll, we'll, Foul One and I will have to, and I mean, Mr. Grant Gregory, I mean, we're, we're down for brainstorming here we'll have to give like tears to it right or, or not tears but um oh not tears because it's obviously a tier list we'll have to like uh ranking criteria so like kit not fight kit but kit <laughs> um yeah i mean <laughs> i could go on but yeah we'll have to make a criteria foul one and, and if you guys want to chime in on the criteria let me know <laughs> crippled one in other words the tie guy is fucked you know, I apologize last night. Uh, might have went off the rails. I mean, I went off the rails a little bit too, but it's all good, JL. Bilal Show 2.0. Let's go. I got to change the profile pic. Don't be mad at me, but I am going to change the profile picture to a big picture of Bilal. Uh, I'm a huge Kiss Check fan, but him versus Lawler, or Cost Check fan. Jeez. But him versus Lawler, Lawler realized he belonged back in the UFC. It was his confidence fight. If you guys think Lawler loses, you're crazy. And Eagle Price is nothing special. Plus 200 is free money, baby. I mean, based off Lawler's last fight, I don't think that we're crazy, especially because though Nico lost his last fight, he was, I would say he hurt his opponent when he hit him more than, more than, you know, he was hurt. He just got hit with more volume and, and, and eventually crumbled. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a, it's a fair fight for both of them. You know what I mean? They're both getting towards the end of their career. Obviously, Robbie Lawler's way older and has more miles, but Nico Price has been dealing with knee injuries and you know took took a big layoff as well. I believe it was last year, the year before. Um, I mean, Bar Barbarina made Lawler look his age, and Barbarina beat him. And put it this way: if this was Robbie Lawler even five years ago, he would have smoked Brian. Robbie was never the same after the. Tyrone KO, except he fucking ragdolled Askren and the stupid fucking ref fucked up that fight. Nickelback happened to kill 90s rocks. <laughs> Dude, Nickelback is so famous in the States. It's actually crazy. They're, they're honestly more famous in the States than Canada. You should like Nickelback for some reason. <laughs> Round one, folks. Let's get it on. I don't like Nickelback. I, I will never hate on Nickelback. They're like, they're, they're like, like the modern day kiss you know what i mean like none of their songs are bad you know what i mean like it's all just the same rock and roll riffs does it get boring after one two three five seven eight albums absolutely am i gonna say that they're bad no it's 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 just really simple rock and roll and simple rock and roll is good rock and roll it's just like come on guys like you're, you're never gonna get in legend status you're never gonna get in uh legend status because of that But, uh, I mean, f fuck, guys. When Spider-Man came out in 2000, we all were going ham for Hero, let's be honest. <laughs> Don't say that in front of Kyle Benjamin. I've seen him rage quit family dinners because we were just making fun of uh, Nickelback. He loves Nickelback. What's Chili Peppers? Oh, come on. Jail's trolling us, man. Jail's trolling us. Same, dude. Every now and then I'll fire up like a like if I have Sirius XM on a job site or something like that, like uh, when I was working trades. That was a good way to catch up on, uh, or not even catch up, but listen to old old tunes and good play. Sorry, let's get back to this fight. Sorry, guys. Um, a lot of comments here, and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the music talk here, but we got to focus in on this fight. One minute and thirty seconds on the clock here, round one. We'll get back to the comments 
if we can. Oh, shut shut up, JL. I'm sorry, buddy. I've I've, I've seen Kiss four times. I bet you haven't seen them once. <laughs> Even in old days, they were unbelievable. So sorry. No one's gonna slander Kiss in this fucking live chat. One minute and ten seconds on the clock here. Left hand. Man, why are these Russians have so such huge names? You guys were right. Abdul Muslimov piecing up Jay Singh right now in the first round. 55 seconds. Right hand by Abdul Muslimov. 44 seconds left. Kiss Army member since 2003, baby. 2004, baby. Let's go. Must have been 2004. It was a birthday present from my parents because I was... The first albums I ever bought, Love Gun and Dookie by Green Day. <laughs> Love Gun by Kiss and, Go and Dookie by Green Day were the first two albums I ever bought with my own money, not albums I inherited from my family. Oh, and a nice right hand there by Abdul Muz Muslimov. Sorry, butchering his name, guys. It's a big one. It's a big one. Look at this guy. Switch up his stance, too. Man, this Russian... He's damn good. Check the kick. That was beautiful, folks. Did you guys see that? He just checked the kick of Jay Singh and instantly landed two counter shots. End of the first round. All right, let's see if I can catch up on some of these comments here between rounds, folks. Zoomer, the MMA fights are done, buddy. They had two to top the to start the card, and now it's all Muay Thai till the end. Yeah, how do we forget Beastie Boys? I mean, there was so much good music, man. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Danny California, Lawler versus Askren, yikes. Yeah, Lawler beat the piss out of him, and the ref wanted Askren to win. The UFC wanted Askren to win. Uh, Nico Price was so happy to draw against Cowboy. Oh, I don't like the look of the mauve guy. How did he make weight? I didn't know Nickelback was a Canadian band. Yeah, out of uh, Hannah, Alberta. Kisses have one song. Dude, are you kidding me? I was made for loving you. Love gun. Um, live it loud. Crazy nights. Dude, I have <laughs> I have stacks upon stacks of KISS records. You can't tell me that. KISS Army member, like I said, since it might have been 2005. I was a youngin', but I thought that was the coolest birthday present. Nice right hand. By Abdul Muslimov and Jay Singh now swinging. Sorry, second round has started, folks. Second round has started. But he says, I can't name a fucking Kiss song. Who is this guy, JL? Who is this guy? Two minutes and 23 seconds left. Ref separates them. They're back on their feet. Highway to Hell is another good one. Highway to hell. Do 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 Detroit Rock City. I mean, come on, there was a whole movie with Detroit Rock City. Gene Simmons, Sharon, Ron Jeremy were fucking in that movie. A lot of young stars are in that movie. Uh what's the guy from American History X? Uh, the chick from Orange is one of the chicks from Orange is the New Black. She was in that as well. Bro, I put Magic Mushrooms on my pizza originally in high school because of that movie. So do not tell me that Kiss is a gimmick. Do not tell me that I do not know a Kiss song. Do not tell me that I'm not a member of the Kiss Army, motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> my Christian aunt hated that I like Kiss. You like the Knights and Satan service. Bitch, that's not even what they're... That's not That's not even where the name came from. Anyways, I'm getting fired up here. One minute and ten seconds on the clock in this second round. Clinching are, are the fighters. One minute left in the second round. They separate. Nice left elbow there by Abdul Muslimov. 51 seconds. 45 seconds. Nice knee to the body there by Jay Singh. Right hand there by 
Abdul Muslimov. Nice knee to the body as well. What's his first name? Amira? We're just going to call him Amir. That's easier for me. <laughs> a nice one, two there by Amir. And he's starting to slow down a little bit. Oh, he, Amir just got cracked with a right hand by Jay Singh. Amir just got cracked by a right hand by Jay Singh. Jay Singh now looking for the kill. Jay Singh lands another right hand and throws Amir to the ground. 10 seconds left. Jay Singh smells blood. Jay Singh cornering Amir. Amir desperately going for, a ta or going for the clinch and knee to the body. And that is it for the second round. Woo! Jay Singh really putting it on Amir Abdul Muslimov at the end of that second round. All right, I missed a ton of comments again. Blah, blah, blah. What did I miss? Uh, could be worse, Isha. ACDC rips off their own rock. <laughs> I, li I liked old school ACDC. Hell's Bell. But yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I, I wholeheartedly disagree on that take. I mean, again, you don't you don't have to like kiss. That's fine. They're like I said, they're rock and roll music. Really simple riffs, great performers. That for me, like I said, old school kissing Green Day as like as a wee as a wee lad, as a as a little kid who's like, you know, getting into to rock music and, and you know, 90s punk and things like that, or alt punk and things like that. Um that's what like got me into wanting to even play guitar as a kid, man. I was made for loving you, baby. What the fuck is this ref doing? The ref's gonna make a mistake this fight. He is super green. Godsmack. I wasn't super into Godsmack, but I respect them. I respect them. Fucking Tool, man. Who listened to Tool growing up too, man? All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock in this third round. I'll try to catch up on comments after this fight, guys, but this is exciting here, and we could see Jay Singh possibly come back after getting worked in that first round. He had a great second round, at least the great second half of that round. Both of them starting to breathe a little heavy here, but Amir seemed to recover, and Amir landed some good shots. What is this ref doing? You're right. What is this ref doing here? No, Mr. Grant Gregory, good point bringing up the ref here as... He he had no reason to separate them there. They weren't clinched and they were throwing shots. Nice right uppercut by Amir. Two minutes left in this third round. A nice left hand by Jay Singh. Look, Jay Singh just keeps walking forward. I do think Jay Singh is taking more damage. I do think Amir has landed the better shots, but Jay Singh is still in this and he is landing some bombs and he's rocked Amir a few times in this fight. One in particular in that second, right at the end of that second round, he cracked him with a, Good shot here also in this third round. Not as not as hard as that one in the, at the end of that second round. And Jason starting to fade a little bit here. As you can see, he's breathing out of his mouth. He's not pushing forward as much, but he is setting up to swing and throw high kicks. But Amir just looks like he has a little bit left in the gas tank here at one minute and 25 seconds left on the clock and doing a good job of picking apart Jason at range here. Good one, too. He wasn't even in the pocket for that one. Just stepped right in. High kick at range. One minute left. Appreciate you guys like this video. We're trying to get to 20 likes. That's not a huge ask. I know we can do it. There's 10 of you watching right now. If all of you smash that like button, we're halfway there. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate the music topic here today in the live chat. You guys are fucking awesome. Sorry if I can't keep up with your comments. They're just coming in too hot, which is a good problem to have. <laughs> not too hot. Too fast, I should say. 43 seconds left on the clock here. This is what? Incentive to uh, join our membership streams. As it's all about you guys. We're all taking comments in the nice right hand. Holy crap, he killed him. He <laughs> He's out. He's out. Jay Singh is out. Right hand by Amir. Just drop Jay Singh. What? A minute 20 left in the fight. Jay Singh got rocked and knocked the fuck out. Holy shit. <laughs> Little gas in the tank left indeed. My goodness, Amir Abdul Muslimov. Take a look at this, guys. Left to the body and right to the jaw, and he goes down. His legs buckle completely out against the boards or against the ropes. Completely out. 
completely is wow perfect right hand to the jaw sets it up with the body shot forces him to turn and boom right to the jaw holy shit unbelievable i did like creed i did like creed wow wow i'm wow folks I didn't think if this went the distance, I didn't think necessarily that Jason was going to win it. I did think he did a great job of coming back in the second round and putting on a and showing heart in the third round. I should say great job by Amir. Wow. All right. Let's try to catch up on some of these comments, guys. Wow. The mob connection is real called before the fight. Jail. I'm not even reading that comment, buddy. You guys can look at it. I ain't reading it, though. <laughs> you know, the judges are mad they couldn't rob him. Fourth prediction, correct. I love it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Incoming robbery. Well, we avoided it. We avoided it. This ref is like that stalker girlfriend you're trying to get away from. <laughs> hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. <laughs> exactly that. Power cords, baby. No, the Russian was doing good. The Russian was doing good. He had good technique. Sweet Emotions by Aerosmith in the movie Days and Confused were awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, what was it? Hot, hot, wet American summer. Wet, hot American summer too. When uh, the voice of Archer was the can of beans. <laughs> and um, he's also Bob's Burger. What a fight. What a fight. What is up, Hockey from Home? It's good to see you. I had a very long day today, Isha, because I have camp, then youth group, then went home till 10 p.m. I won't be home till 10 p.m. today, but I'll be in your stream when I can. Hockey from Home, hope you have a great day. Thank you for dropping by here this morning. Yet you call them gimmicky. Sounds like you're jumping to conclusion there a little bit, JL. Oh, I might have. I might have. Um, I might've misspoke there. I'm not even done my first cup of coffee. So my apologies. Um, thank you for calling me out on that. Yeah. Highway to hell was ACDC hell's bell. Um, yeah, the black album was my favorite one. I forgot. I don't even know if that, if that's the name of the album or not, but that was my favorite one. I have that one on vinyl and the vinyl's black as well, which is so cool. I love getting those colored vinyls. I have Beatles red and blue on red and blue vinyl as well. Um, and then I have the yellow submarine single on like, it's like a, it's, it's like a tie dye vinyl. Um, and, and those like, those came like, those are my, my parents gave those to me. Those were their records, which is pretty cool. But to, yes, my apologies. My apologies. A lot of picked up asking is slammed and that was crazy. Damn Herb Dean. Yeah, Mr. Grant. I was noticing that too. I was noticing that too. Uh, when they're standing up by telling him to, yeah, I, it was interesting. It was interesting. This ref wasn't that great, but hey, Amir got it done. And still undefeated. It doesn't look like he's getting a bonus out, out of this one, though, but what a great performance. Hey, fair enough. I think Queen are definitely like better overall, like better musicians, like way more complicated scores, way more complicated um, songs. I never, and again, this is not me saying Kiss is better than Queen, okay? This is, I want everyone to, to understand that. I was more into the rock and roll, you know? I was more into, I guess, just like the more simple, <laughs> the more simple, heavier riffs until Kiss took off their makeup. And yeah, I still, I like the Crazy Nights single personally, but look, respect Queen. I like Queen. I got a couple of their records as well. I never got into them like I did, you know, some of these other bands. I mean, Shit, I mean, I, I I probably was more into Michael Jackson and um and Elton John than than I was Queen, to be perfectly honest. And that's nothing against Freddie Mercury. The guy's an unbelievable musician. The, the the band is still going strong with that new singer, I believe, or at least they were. But uh, but no, but JL, like that that's a fair take, buddy. That's an absolute fair take, and I got nothing but respect for Queen. Uh, oh dang! I wish they sprinkled in more MMA instead of just doing two at the beginning. I, I don't Zoomer loyalist. This 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 fight card is not for MMA. If anything, I would rather them have zero MMA on this card at all. Um, 
just kickboxing and Muay Thai. And, and lucky for us, we only had two MMA fights on this one. And uh, now all Muay Thai for the rest of the card. Not even any kickboxing. But why I disagree, Zoomer, is because the MMA that they put on these Friday fights cards, if it's not one of their big ones, because how they're doing it now, Zoomer, is once a month, they're loading up a Friday fights card to kind of make up for them not having any numbered events in 2023 yet. They are bringing them back, though. Um, so they'll do one stacked one and that will like have some of the big fights and, and title fights like the Bular fight, for example. But for the most part, this, the Friday fights, it's in Thailand. The Thai people don't give a fuck about MMA. I mean, just go on, just go on Muay Thai Twitter, right? They don't give a fuck about MMA. They, they ridicule MMA. Um, they don't want to see it. This is in their home. This is in the Lupini boxing stadium. This is in the Madison square garden of Muay Thai. They don't want to see MMA. So the MMA fights that they usually put on this card are like two very low-level MMA fights. MMA fights that are, um, you know, guys who are undefeated with, say, like 4-0, 5-0 records. Those making their MMA debuts from a kickboxing or Muay Thai or a different um, discipline. And they get them out of the way quick sort of thing. So um, as much as, you know, I love MMA and I know we're all MMA junkies here, I will I will disagree and say that I would rather them... I would rather no MMA at all on uh on the these pretty much muay thai cards and and add a you know an extra mma bout or two on their fight nights or their numbered cards personally man i feel i i feel for dc he can't get jones to like him but is he can i mean i don't think dc cares i don't think dc cares i don't think dc will ever like jones and honestly i don't blame him All right, I think I caught up on some of the comments I missed there. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Hey, look at that. We got my cousin on the card. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not all Persians are cousins, okay? Uh, it, it just it blows my mind because I never... Watching, even, even in Pride... Uh, Strike Force, the old WEC, like there's never any Persian fighters, so it's always it's always cool to see uh in one championship and even in Rise and how they'll how kickboxing in Iran and how we just Persian fighters are you know who grew up in Iran or not are training Muay Thai and the Iranian wrestlers are making decent transitions into kickboxing, especially the heavyweight. So it is cool to see. Little pride for my heritage, a little pride for my heritage, even though I don't even fucking speak Farsi and never been to Iran. <laughs> you could say I'm the brown sheep of the family. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Fighters making their walk out right now. I need to say it once so you know. I know, I know, I got you. <laughs> In regard to the Bilal Hazmat comment. Uh, Herbo's back. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Do, 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 do. Black Panther is going to be interesting. He was also the main counselor. Uh, Sadegi. It's technical uh, technicality and patience got me voting for him. Locking it in. Do, 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 do. Uh, no problem. The kids I'm helping with in camp are in class now, so I don't want to disturb them. So I'm just chilling. Hockey from home, by the way. Shout out to you. I mean, summer school. Oh, shit. One sec. My alarm's going off. <laughs> Forgot to turn that off this morning when I got up. I have a 9 a.m. Isha, if you're still in bed, get the fuck out of bed alarm. And that one just went off. Um, but shout out to hockey from home again. Summer school, now working with camp, still, you know, active in your community. Like, shout out to you. Shout out to you. Working hard this summer. I didn't even have coffee yet because I'm not home. I don't even know how you're awake then. Why, JL? That makes no sense. Oh, you did get the bonus. Okay, I didn't see that. I've been, I've been on, I've been honestly trying to keep up with the comments. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing this broadcast justice today. So my apologies, folks. I know I'm slacking with the commentary. I know I'm slacking with the, uh, with even observing simple things like that. But uh, my apologies. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep up with the comments here.
See, I, I don't mind it. I understand. Like, I'm not going to. I mean, I've died on the sword. I think it was, was it. Um, was it JD and I who were going at it? No, it was one of our friends. Uh, I forget who it was in the live chat. I'm sorry if you're watching right now. Um, it was one of our friends from across the pond. Who, uh, oh my God, was it Peak? Yeah, I think it's Peak Master. Peak Master and I have gone back and forth. For me, it's nostalgic, and that's why I prefer it. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that I'm right though. I mean, MMA is meant for a cage. So it's easier to get back up to your feet and it's better for the fans that way. Cause it can be a little bit more, well, obviously it can be more entertaining when it's on the feet. Um, I don't mind it though. I don't mind it. It, it is cool to see uh, Mr. Gregory that even um, Ryzen and their landmark shows are starting to do more MMA in uh, in a cage. Thai fans are ruthless. I saw a Thai meme translated where it said ruthless MMA match in history and it showed a gif of Adesanya dry up in Costa. <laughs> you know, I don't blame them though. I don't blame them. Like to them who's grown up in such a fighting culture where, you know, kids are fighting professionally at eight years old. I mean, they look at MMA and they're just like, this isn't a fight. Thai crowd when it comes to MMA is like Philly crowd when it comes to BJJ. That's a great example. That is a great example. I love uh, music oldies, 50s and 60s, Elvis, Beatles, Frankie. Uh, Freaky Valley, classic rock 70s, 80s, pop from the 80s and 90s, all rock 90s and early 2000s. Phony, same brother, same. So I, th I would say that my favorite music of all time is, is like 60s, 50s and 60s blues. Ch anything from chess records inject right into my veins. Etta James, Howlin' Wolf. Um, I know Buddy Guy wasn't chess records, but we'll throw him into the mix as well. Same with like BB King. And then you got Chuck Berry, right? Um, little Walter, the first ever musician to plug his harmonica into an amplifier and distort it. Man. Good times, good times, good times. He reminds me of the guy who used to buy sand coffee off. I got Black Panther. Hernan, what's going on, Hernan? Thank you so much for joining, buddy. How are you this morning, Hernan? All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it! I appreciate you, buddy. Far from the goat, but I appreciate you. And uh, thank you so much for the kind word you said in Discord. Sorry I didn't like reply to it, but uh, but I saw it, buddy. I saw it uh, just a couple of days ago. I'll give it like a thumbs up, or uh, I'll I'll reply to it later today, buddy. But I uh, just wanted to acknowledge it and say thank you. No, already a nice shot there by Black Panther. All right, we'll get back to the comments here in a sec, folks. We'll get back to the comments here in just a moment, but we're going to turn our attention here to the fight. Two minutes and 16 seconds on the clock left hand by Black Panther. Sadagi just took a body shot there by Black Panther. Right hand by Sat Sadagi. Sadagi loading up that right hand here. Counter left by Black Panther. Black Panther lasts... Two beautiful shots there. Sadagi with a body shot. Black Panther with a nice combo and throws Sadagi to the ground. One minute and 49 seconds on the clock. Nice body shot by Black Panther. Black Panther putting together his combos beautifully here in the first round. One minute and 43 seconds on the clock. Keep the comments coming. I'll get back to them as soon as I can, folks. If I don't get to them in real time, just comment them again. One minute and 31 seconds. Ooh, a nice counter left hook there by Sadagi, but wasn't a super hard shot. High low kick, well, high kick to the outside of the lead left leg of Sadagi by Black Panther. One minute and 10 seconds left. Sadagi trying to set up the counter left off a leg kick, but Black Panther read that perfectly. Now going for a high kick with Sadagi doesn't land clean. Sadagi can't land his combos there. He's missing with that left hook. He's, let, he's, throw, he's throwing four of them in a row. And he, great distance control there by Black Panther. Black Panther with another low kick. So far, Black Panther getting the better of Sadagi. There we go. There's a body shot by Sadagi on the entry. He clinches. He's trying to throw some knees, and Black Panther takes him to the ground or throws him to the ground. 
Gregory Black Panther came out with a gorilla suit or, or gorilla shirt. I was saying I don't like MMA in ring because of the fights they put on. But another throwdown there by Black Panther. I love that that's his name on Tapology as well. Black Panther. All the music, talk God, you distracted. I'm guessing you like music a little more than fighting. Me too. Um, It was my f- music. I, I t- say this to everyone. It, music is my first love, and it comes in waves. Sometimes I'm more into music than sports. Sometimes I'm into sports more than music. But music definitely was my first love. As far as playing music these days, I've definitely like slacked and I don't I don't play music. I don't jam. I, I I don't even remember the last time I played a show or like even an open mic or anything like that. So on that front, I will say that like fighting and you know sports is more of an interest and passion of mine right now. But uh it, like I said, it's my first love, man. So like yeah, I'm a little distracted about it. I'm a little distracted over it. I'm oh like I'm always listening to music though. Uh, peace out. I'll be here when I can tonight. Mostly, most likely the evening. Have a great day. Hockey from home. Uh, yep. All greats, uh, referring to chess records. Me too. And I'm old soul and I should be older. <laughs> love it guys. Love it. Seriously. Shout out to all you guys. This live chat has been absolutely buzzing and I love it. I absolutely love it. Like and subscribe. If you haven't already. Back to live play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction. Black Panther again. Will do, will do. Throws score points. <laughs> Two minutes and twenty seven seconds. Honestly, man, I like I like everything except for dubstep. I love everything except for dubstep. And I guess mumble rap which is basically like trap music these days. Everything else I'll, I, I'll, I give a chance and I listen to. Blues is, I think, my favorite, though. Isha's is a fan of the arts. Whether it's physical or auditory, he is all in. True. True, my man. I used to even draw as a kid. I used to draw cartoons. <laughs> Watched Dragon Ball Z and started drawing Goku, Gohan... Vegeta. <laughs> One minute and forty seconds left on the clock in the second round. But yeah, no, I would I would definitely say that. I am very much a nerd and a fan of art. Peace out. It's a bit cheeky throwing your opponent. Yeah, like just exerting your dominance in the clinch. I guess it's one way to force the ref to separate you. One minute and sixteen seconds left on the clock. I mean, so far, I got Black Panther winning this fight, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. And again, appreciate all the chatter, music, talk, and all. It's amazing. I'd rather have a busy chat than not. So thank you guys so much for waking up early with us to watch some fights here and talk some music. Look at that. Fights and music. Couldn't ask for anything more. Couldn't ask for anything more. And a nice right hand there by Sadagi. Exchanging body kicks now. But Black Panther's just getting the better of him. Sadiqi comes in to the clinch there, unable to hold that position. Pressuring Black Panther towards the ropes here, gets the clinch, landing a few knees, not doing a lot of damage though. 31 seconds left in this second round. Ref separates them. 25 seconds. Missed with the body kick to Black Panther, and I mean, Sadiqi trying to set up that left hook over and over again. It's just not landing. Black Panthers, you know, distance control is beautiful. And as I say that, Sadagi lands a left hand. I don't think that's what knocked down Black Panther, though. I think he tripped up there getting hit and walking backwards. And the ref didn't label it as a knockdown either. That is it for the second round. Let me know your thoughts on this fight, ladies and gentlemen. What is up, Thigis? Good Friday, going to stream UFC 2 this weekend. I'm going to stream as much of UFC as I can. I do have OAR tickets, so I'm going to see the band OAR uh, Saturday night. But we'll start off the card, and as soon as, you know, 
as soon as I got to go, <laughs> I got to go. But uh, we're making up for it with a big Friday today, like uh, like last week, and then we'll, we're back on the. Then I don't have any plans in the upcoming Saturdays, so we're back on the UFC train. So we're gonna do as much of it as we can this week. But again, when when your homies buy OAR tickets and invite you out uh, to the Armory, one of the most beautiful venues, music venues in downtown Minneapolis. I mean, you got to take it. You got to take it. So don't worry about Black Panther's energy is getting low. He His energy is... I mean, his gas tank is starting to fade a little bit, but he's still landing way more shots. I'd say you know, two to one shots on his opponent. I got Black Panther winning two, but great fight. Those kicks are beautiful. All right, round three. Third and final round, folks. Let's get it! It does, it does seem like the Persian fighter has a little bit more gas left in his tank. His speed's not starting to fade at all, but he's, he's he just cannot hit his opponent. Two high kicks, and Black Panther was up against the ropes, and Black Panther still dodged them. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Sadagi is just throwing those kicks too far from the outside. Step in left jab, followed by a body kick. I think Black Panther is the first and second round. So Sadagi's going to have to get the knockout if he wants to win this. And he walks in with that step in left hook blocked there by Black Panther. Straight left jab by Sadagi. Sadagi's looking good now. Starting to apply the pressure here. One minute, 55 seconds on the clock. Nice gift. Hope you have a, hope you have a nice night. Oh, well, I appreciate it, buddy. And again, my apologies, guys. I know it's a big card and... You know, every every now and then we'll skip a fight night here and there because of life and, and other and you know sometimes even other pr- streams, other promotions. But uh, yeah, my my apologies for this one. My apologies for this one. But we're not taking the weekend off. We will keep streaming, and we will stream Saturday morning for the PFL Euro Series. Which, God, their rollout for that has been in North America has been just. Horrendous on the broadcast side. It's on the zone, but apparently you can't access it in the United States. So shout out to those who can find another place to watch it. Walter, what's up, Walter? Sheesh, early fights. Oh, yeah, buddy. Friday fights. Every Friday, one championship puts on a Muay Thai showcase here at the Lupini Boxing Arena, the Madison Square Garden of Thailand. It's good to see you, Walter. Thank you so much for joining. Love the profile picture. But if you want to see violence, Walter, this is the card every week. Muay Thai fight after Muay Thai fight after Muay Thai fight. Violence after violence after violence. 35 seconds left on the clock here. Left body shot by Sadagi. <sighs> 22 seconds left in this third and final round. Sadagi, you know, having a Better round than he showed in the last two rounds, but not enough to finish his opponent here. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Does he have one final blow to put this away? Going for the high kick. Caught by Black Panther. Black Panther throws him to the ground one more time. Puts his hands up. And that is it for the fight. We're going to finish it! And it's all over! And you can see the disappointment on Mohamed Sadegi's face right now. I think he knows that he did not do enough to win this fight. That is my opinion. Let me know yours in the live chat, folks. And don't forget to vote in the poll question as well. Uh, Thigis, it's good to see you, man. As well as everyone else in the live chat here. Walter, Thigis, Diego, Mr. Grant Gregory, one of our exclusive members. JL, one of our exclusive members. Appreciate you guys so much. I know. Benjamin dropped in earlier. Crippled Ham is here. Phony's here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Phony, absolute beauty. Hawk from home dropped by. Jay Herbo, Hernan. Um, but who else stopped by? Zoomer's here as well. Zoomer, one of our exclusive members. Thank you so much, buddy. I don't think I missed anybody. Eh? Oh, Foul One, one of our exclusive members here. Falods, Forgotten Fifi. What is going on? Thank you guys so much for joining. It's sweet having you all in the chat here. We talk some music, talking some fights. Benjamin's still here at a boy. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to all you guys. All 
All right, just awaiting the official decision. And Black Panther wins this one as he should. What's up, News Affiliate Pro? What's going on, News Affiliate Pro? Love the profile picture, buddy. Not sure if you know, but OAR won't sing. That was a crazy game of poker because uh, the word crazy. They're slowly removing all their tracks that their new manager says is problematic to modern audience. Ooh, that fucking sucks. I did not know that. Well, you know what I'm going to do in the audience? I'm going to chant the entire time. Play, that was a crazy game of poker. Play, that was a crazy game of poker. I was literally just listening to that song last night as I was barbecuing for the roommate. I did not know that news affiliate pro. I'm not like a diehard OAR fan. Like I have, I think I have two of their albums. Uh, one from 98 and I want to say one from 2002. I know the first one came out in 96. I don't have that one. Um, I'm more of a casual o OAR fan, but again, when you have a chance to go see them, I'm, I'm going to go see them, but that, that is unfortunate. Fucking PC culture, man. Ruining everything. I think my pick holds. Crazy that it was split. Or crazy that it was split. Giving a little hometown, or giving a little bias to, I guess not hometown bias since the Thai guy won, but uh Sadagi does fight out of Phuket and Tiger Muay Thai. So I don't know, maybe one judge is <laughs> is from Phuket. I don't know. Don't know how that would be a split decision. Black Panther, in my opinion, won it two rounds to one. 97. Okay, my apologies. My apologies. So uh Sadagi flopped first round and my streak ends. I mean, Cripple Time, you were right. Like he he is technical. He is technical. He didn't gas out. He just couldn't hit his target. Black Panther was so good with the distance control there. And News Affiliate Pro, again, it's great to have you in the chat, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. A music fan and a fight fan, I imagine, too, since you're joining us here uh, for one championship. Are you a big Muay Thai guy? Are you more of an MMA guy? Uh, what's your cup of tea, News Affiliate Pro? And thank you so much for joining, like I said again. Decent fight there. Decent fight. There was more just sad to see Sagadi just miss or uh, Sadegi just miss all of those shots. I mean, what he landed the left hook twice. I think he threw it like 20 times. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. So we are on to our first, well, the co-main event of the evening and how they kind of do it or not kind of how they do it on these cards is to end the quote unquote prelims. The first half of the card, they put their co-main event as the headliner of the first half of the card. It's not prelims because, you know, one championship kind of just does the whole thing, throws the whole card at you. Um, but this is the co-main event of the evening. This is the feature, one of the featured fights on the card and they're doing it here to end the first half of the card we got sinsimut against Teixeira, ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts in the live chat grappling main blink <clears throat> got a little bumble fucked my words there grappling mainly that's awesome man i uh i'm getting more into to the world of grappling as far as like watching and stuff like every now and then you know if if flow covers adcc like i'll watch that and um i I started training jujitsu last year. Now I, I wish I could have done more this year, but you know, had to budget uh, appropriately and, you know, couldn't afford classes and, and just open rules all the time. But uh, my goal is this September to get, or this fall to get back into it, you know, cancel the actual gym membership and just, just go all in on uh, jujitsu and hopefully knock on wood compete in like a white belt tournament a year from then. That's the goal. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a big head. Like I, I'm not overconfident. Jiu-Jitsu is fucking hard, man. But uh, I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful martial art, and it's a, it's a great workout, especially if you know, if you got a weak jaw like me and you can't do kickboxing or sparring anymore because you get knocked out too easily. But that is awesome, News Affiliate Pro. Um, appreciate you joining. I know a lot of people are getting pissed at us because we we did a fight companion for a few grappling events, and everyone's so mad that I wasn't showing the grappling event. I'm like, this is YouTube, a. Eh? I can't show shit I don't own. And B, the grappling event was literally on YouTube. So everyone was getting all pissy about that. And I was like, shit. It was fun just to hang out and watch it all with you guys. Uh, my streak is up, but next round I got nothing. 
So I'll go sentiment. But I always heard if you do not know who, then go for the Brazilian. Uh, yeah. In this case, I would say probably avoid that rule. If this was MMA, then that'd be different. Uh, real BJJ doesn't cost you money, only sweat. If they ask for a lot of money, then leave. Well, it's not a lot of money. I'm just I'm just broke as a joke. News affiliate pro. I don't even have enough money in my bank account to, to cover a, a month's membership. And let me tell you, the month membership ain't too much. No, the gym I go to is 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 awesome. Um, the one I went to on Vancouver Island, my island top team, they were a little bit more accommodating with like putting together like you know pretty much just like a payment plan for what you could afford at the time, and then like we just did things around the gym to to help out. This one it is a little bit bigger, but in my opinion, it's one of the best in Minnesota. Shout out Southside Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, but like I said, I'm just broke as a joke right now, so I can't even pay like what I believe is, is, is reasonable. And I just haven't made any friends yet that I'm close enough with in classes to just like, you know, just train outside of, a outside of the gym, but you do have a good point. Um, I, put it this way though. I, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. They, they're an awesome business. They're, they're, they're great people who run the gym. Um, shoot, even some of the, like the, the purple belts and brown belts who run some of the beginner classes, they're, they're awesome. Um, so yeah, I got nothing against Southside Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Reasonable prices too for like, uh, basically membership. You, you like, you can pay a flat fee for a membership and you can take as many classes as you want, go to as many open roles as you want, which is super cool. Again, I just have to budget accordingly because I'm broke as a joke right now. Freelancer in the world of digital media in the summer when everyone's just hanging out, doing their own thing. It's not a lot of work right now. <laughs> Are the fights good? Yeah, man. The fights have been good. Yes. And this is a message to everybody. Avoid any gym who calls Gra or called Gracie that's spelled with a Y, not I-E. <laughs> if I ever get to Canada, we can roll. Let's do it, buddy. Uh, this next fight is going to be a good one. Let's go. Membership is different to belt promotion, I meant to say. Fair enough, fair enough, buddy. Uh, do you, you train as well, I'm guessing, since you're a grappling fan? It's just that uh, I, I grew up doing um, like traditional uh, kung fu, which was cool. And then you know, some point fighting, but I, I really liked just like the martial art aspect of it. I loved like being able to learn how to handle just some of these crazy, like old school, like war weapons and things like that. And I had a really, really cool Sifu who was an Italian cat who, uh, you know, in his twenties, like was traveling Thailand, was traveling Vietnam, was, tra was traveling, maybe not Vietnam. Yeah. I think it was like actually like right after the war and, um, and just like, so many countries rich of culture and martial arts culture. And he, I think in Thailand, he met uh, a Kung Fu master who was also teaching like Thai boxing and things like that. And they just like, they just connected and he ended up moving there, staying there, uh, became a master himself and then moved back to Canada and opened up a, uh, a little gym and in like the shittiest part of town, half the gym was also a dance studio because his, his wife was a Highland dance, a professional Highland dancer. So it, it was just it was just such an interesting and unique gym. And I, I, I couldn't have asked for a better, you know, sports experience as a kid. All my friends played soccer, or hockey, and my parents didn't have a lot of money growing up. Um, and I'm apparently keeping up that trend in later in life, unfortunately. <laughs> but i digress um and uh yeah it was just it was just an awesome experience that was my sport as a kid because my parents wanted to put me in in a sport and uh that and talk about how like you know real martial arts you know doesn't cost you a lot he was so he was so patient with my family i remember my dad would just like do renovations in the gym and stuff to pay my you know my fees and things like that so that was a lot of fun you know d did some point fighting you know it was it was sweet growing up, but uh, definitely definitely loved the martial arts aspect of it more and love, but but did love the competition, which is why like I've just fallen in love with jujitsu. I don't have to be punched in the face; you can still compete and go hard. It's amazing. I teach no longer compete injury, not Brazilian jujitsu related. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, that's all. Not not the injury is awesome. That that sucks, and I'm sorry to hear that. But uh, hey, 
teaching now that must be cool that's like the you know if you practice and compete your whole life i feel like teaching is like that fine that one of, one of the final phases and I, I hear it's super rewarding hope the guy's last name wasn't dillman <laughs> it was not i cooked for my training and clean windows and cars that's awesome that's just that's the way it should be right and again, the, the the school that I'm at or the the gym that I that I've been training at, they're super cool with things like that as well. It's just and to be perfect, I just wasn't comfortable, you know, taking a few classes, being the new guy there to just be like, hey, uh, <laughs> now I can't pay you, so can I just like sweep your floors? Um, maybe maybe down the road, if I'm a little bit more comfortable with them, I'll I'll suggest that. But uh, like I said, budgeting or not, I'm going all in in the fall, and I'm going to take it as serious as possible. I did just move to the United States, so well, I guess not anymore. But when I um, when I was like really getting into jujitsu, I left you know Canada. I left the the gym I was there, bounced around here, and uh, and eventually found found a good one. Anyways, fight is about to start, so let's get into it. Round one. Let's get it all. Co-main event of the evening, one of the featured fights, closing out the first half of this card. Let's get it on. I got Sinsuma winning this one, by the way, folks. Locking it in. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Again, big shout out to everyone joining us today. The members, the regulars, and the new viewers. Appreciate you, News Affiliate Pro. Ooh, beautiful left jab and a right hand by Sinsuma. Inside low kick by Sinsuma. Overhand right, left hook. Blocked them both was Teixeira, but not the body shot there. Since it just looks a lot bigger than Teixeira as well. Two minutes on the clock. First round. And so far, since it's landed some hard shots on Teixeira. Speaking of grappling, speaking of Teixeira, shout out to everyone who joined us. For the UFC Fight Pass Invitational, where he had his grappling match against Anthony Smith and a knockdown there by Sinsumit. Getting the count is Teixeira. He's good to go. He's good to go. Right hand there by Sinsumit. Teixeira walking forward now. He knows he's down in this round. He's got to apply the pressure. He's got to get some, he's got to get some things going. Nice left hand by Teixeira. Since me with a double left jab and a right outside low kick, that was checked by Teixeira. Since me takes that low kick. Teixeira now moving forward, becoming a little bit more aggressive after getting knocked down early in this first round. Body shot there by Teixeira. Outside low kick by Sinsumit. Little muffin shot there. Ooh, a swing and a miss by Teixeira, but he was loading up that left hand. They meet at the center of the cage. Oh, I let it slip. Center of the ring. Since it missed with that right hand, but landed a beautiful left uppercut. Teixeira still walking him down. Teixeira, though, having a hard time finding his range. High kick by Sinsmith, blocked by Teixeira. Teixeira throws a body kick. 35 seconds left in this first round, then I'll quickly get back to your guys' comments between the rounds. Appreciate the interaction. We do live fight companions every single weekend, folks. Play-by-play -play commentary reaction, and most importantly, and what I love most about doing this interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Like and subscribe. Let's get this video to 20 likes. She, did you guys just hear my stomach rumble? That was a loud one. Inside low kick by Teixeira. Since Mitt tried to set up a 1-2 to throw a low kick himself. Doesn't land. Since Mitt with a straight left. Since Mitt with throwing that high kick again. Blocked, but I still think he felt that one. And that is it for the first round. Uh, I didn't have a place to stay, so I made it known I'd be willing to, to fight my way in. I rolled with brown belts, didn't win anything for 30 minutes. Mr. Grant Gregory, been there, but at the other end. <laughs> News affiliate pro, you sound like an absolute beauty, my man. Thank you so much for joining. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's super cool to, to be able to talk to, you know, practitioners in various types of martial arts jujitsu we've had like kickboxers we even had amateur mma guys join the live chat and be like you know i was fighting on you know so and so card or i had my first pro fight coming up and it's just it's just awesome i have nothing 
but the utmost respect for all of you who compete and who train martial arts because it's just it's it's one of the most beautiful art forms toughest sports and it takes so much discipline and again that's not a knock at other professional sports but it's there's just something special about combat sports and martial arts in particular so nothing but respect saying it everyone everyone's way in the live chat who practices and uh and respects this art form as well two minutes and 44 seconds on the clock round two ladies and gentlemen Again, if, if I don't see your comments in real time, don't worry. We will catch up on them. If it's uh, if it's super important, just write it again. Write it again. It'll get my attention. Two minutes and 27 seconds. Nice body shot there by Sinsiment. Uh, Isn't it weird? Most cages are four-sided except boxing, which is called a ring, which is round. Yeah, that, is, that is interesting. That is interesting. Well, it's near nine. I got to head to work. Got to teach a class. I subscribe. Enjoy your enthusiasm. Well, I appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, beautiful I appreciate you, News Affiliate Pro. We do these fight companions every single weekend. Up to six or seven. A minimum of two or three. On bleeding is to share right now. Forehead. But News Affiliate Pro, it's, it was gr you're a great addition to our community that we're building here, brother. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for joining the live chat. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, talking with you, buddy. Have a great class and a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you soon, buddy. Cheers. Living this round two or loving this round two, dude. It's been an absolute war. And there it is. The cut is being looked at by the doctor right now. It's right on the top of the forehead and it is bleeding and it is over. It is over. It is over. It is over. You Dr. Stoppage. Dr. Stoppage. You tell him Dr. Stoppage. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Sinsima is the real deal. James Neal. All you Canadians will understand that reference. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. What a dominant performance by Sinsimit Clin Me. Wow. And he's saying, I want the belt. I want the belt. Wow. He's only 27 years old, guys. He's only 27 years old. Look at that elbow. That elbow. That's what cut him. Overhand right to, I mean, Sinsimit just pieced this guy up. Pieced this guy up. Holy shit. Uh, six more fights, JL. Six more fights on the card, buddy. Yeah, perfect undercard for me. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. What a performance. Damn. Where's the ducker? I mean, Rod Tang. Driving his... Uh, Driving his Ford Mustang, living his best life with his beautiful new wife, dodging Superlek. <laughs> Since man, what a what a win, man! What a win! She it says Diego. He's so good, man. I love his tattoo, his back tattoo as well. That's so badass. It's a it's. Traditional Thai style, right? Because I've seen I've seen various fighters have a similar tattoo to that. I think it's safe to say this performance was as beautiful. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. <laughs> Guys, I love this translator in 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 one championship. Like I said, he's he's not as much of a beauty as the um as the Portuguese translator. Or I guess just. Latin translator because he speaks Spanish as well. Uh in, in the UFC, because he's just like a bro, he's a beauty. Oh, Sinsima just going ham on the mic here, but let's listen to the translator because he brings the energy as well. He says, I want my belt back. Yeah, I love this translator, man. I love it. he matches the energy of the fighter. That's what you need. He has the most emphasis other than any other translator, right? 
And he gets the bonus cha-ching. Let's go. Dude, flawless performance by Sinsumit. Dude, I love this translator. I love this guy. I love this guy. Dude, Sinsum is a big fucking boy. Holy shit. Look at the blood on his elbow from that strike, man. That eight times more than the win. <laughs> uh, now the Russian translator in the UFC is the best. The Russian translator? No, you mean the Portuguese translator. That, that That's who is actually an animated type of guy. The Russian translator does nothing but just manage fighters and translate. <laughs> Uh, so I, I don't know how, I mean, like, you know, give me some points to back up your argument, JL, because I, 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 I think you made a mistake there because he's, th there's only one animated translator in the UFC and that's the guy who does most of the Latin, uh, languages, right? Um, this guy though brings the heat. Now, if you, if you mean the Russian translator in one championship, I would agree because she's gorgeous. She is beautiful. And and if you meant that jail, then we're on the same page, buddy. And I believe you, and I respect you for that take in particular. Because goddamn, she's she's a baddie. Translator, the Chad of One FC, great dude. Uh, this speech is beautiful as a motherfucker. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I love this translator. I hope Shatri gives him the bonus one day for being the goat every Friday. JL, oh, so you he doesn't bring the emotion. But JL, that, that, again, you can like the translator, but he doesn't bring the emotion. He doesn't bring the emotion like that of the I forget his name. What's what's the guy who's you know the guy who translated for Oliveira and, and the Spanish speaking guys as well? He like he's uh, 10 levels above every other translator in the UFC, and that's why I made the comparison with this cat, right? Because this cat bring brings the heat as well. I don't think it's a joke. I, I, that's the joke. Shaw, the Russian translator, has less emphasis than Google Trans. I don't think it's a joke, though, Mr. Gregor. I think JL is serious. JL, are you, are you, are you joking? Or <laughs> Wait, the Russian translator in one talks? The woman? Oh, dude. I love her. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes I forget because I'm just like swooning. You know what I mean? Da, 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 da. I mean, JL, you're, you're you're either messing with me or he's Bilal's manager, and that's why you love him. <laughs> um, Mitch Lucky, I'm not in his position because I would be barking at the Russian translator and, and get kicked out of the promotion within seconds by Shatri. <laughs> oh. oh, man. No, I, I want to be very clear. I don't dislike... The I, and I forget his name. The guy in the UFC, the the Russian translator who manages some of the fight. I don't dislike him. He's he's a uh, Jan's um, manager as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Pyotr Jan seems like a good guy. Seems like he does his fighters well. But to to say he's an exciting translator on the level in which spawned this conversation, I don't think is correct. Oh my god. No, no, no. What are, you, I, what are you talking about? Dude, come on, Jay. It's too early for this, brother. First kiss, now this. <laughs> I mean, again, you. I'm not going to say that the, the Rush guy is a, is a bad dude or anything like that, but to, to even suggest he's on the same level of emphasis and who did someone say? The, the Giga Chad. <laughs> it's, it's not even close, buddy. And no, the, the Portuguese guy, it's not just because of Charles. Again, you didn't you haven't even seen him with the Spanish speaking guys, so you don't even know JL. Peter speaks fine in English, he doesn't need one. I don't on social media. When are you gonna be streaming? Uh so the schedule I posted on the community tab here on the channel. I don't know if we're gonna do the one at noon. Um 
but uh, we are slated to do the next two. So we will have LFA later tonight, and then at midnight Eastern time, we'll do some Muay Thai, Fair Text Muay Thai. Uh, Yo, Romero's translator was funny as fuck when you see him laughing as the iconic... <laughs> the people pay. The people pay. The people pay. No gay Jesus. No gay Jesus. <laughs> Did he just say no gay Jesus? I look forward to hearing him. The other one is so so. Hey, fair enough. I mean, the, the only two trans or the only three translators I look forward to seeing and hearing are you know the, the guy who does all the Spanish and like the, the Latin translator in the UFC, just because like he he matches the emotion. And again, I don't want to disrespect the Russian guy either, JL, because like that's not what this is about. Don't make me like hate on anybody because I don't want to, and I'm not trying to do that. He just doesn't match the emotion. Uh, like the other guy does. And the other guy matches the emotion of fighters that like he doesn't manage to, you know what I mean? Like just, he just, he does such a good job of relaying that emotion and doesn't cut the the conversation in half. Doesn't just give uh, three words to, uh, you know, a minute rant by, by the fighters, which I've seen most translators do in the UFC. This guy actually says everything and, and tries to, and tries to describe it as accurately as possible. And this guy in one championship. And that's all I wanted to say. Matches that guy's energy and uh, and passion for sure. Uh, Tom Breeze uh, is fighting on Level Up League MMA on Sunday. I think we're going to be doing one on Sunday. I think I think I put one on Sunday. Guys, I, I make the schedule so early in the week. And then like there's so many fights going on that I, I forget. So that's why I, that's why I post it. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm about to lose my streak. I got Rachadej on a flip of a coin. Locking it in. Hey, I believe the Russian one matches the emotion, but it's just perspective. Fair enough. And maybe he does with his own fighters, but what I like about the other guys, he'll do it to guys and gals that he doesn't even know personally. And I think that's fucking awesome. And that's what I like about this uh, this guy in one championship too. So look, we'll agree to disagree on bringing the emotion for all fighters. I'll say on the fighters he manages, sure. But put it this way. He's not memorable like the other two. And I think that's fact. He doesn't make as big of an impact. But hey, respect. He's got a he's got a he's got a big fan here in JL, and I love it. I love it. All right, folks, let's move on to the next one. But my last thing I will say on that, JL, he's got nothing on uh the Russian translator in one championship. Is it one championship or is it KSW now that I think about it? No, it's one championship. It's one championship. All right. Because she's just... Mm, she doesn't even need to talk. <laughs> Am I going to get canceled for saying that? <laughs> oh, man. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. This has been a very fun stream. The conversations, we're talking translators. We're talking music. We're talking jujitsu, Muay Thai. We're talking combat sports. I absolutely love it. JL, thank you for joining and supporting this channel. Always, buddy. Like... It's so awesome to see you to see you here every every fucking day that we do something, man. It's awesome, and uh, I'll say, Mr. Grant Gregory, when we did uh, Ryzen a couple weekends ago, Ryzen forty three, JL was the last of like the exclusive members, last of like the regulars. I think there was only like four people watching, and JL hung on until he couldn't anymore, like pretty much until the last two or three fights. JL was alongside for the ride, and it was fucking awesome. And, and I will just, I, I will always remember Jail's just like, can't we, we just need to see three quick knockouts so I can go to bed. And then Jail's like, I, I'm going to bed. It's 4 a.m. or whatever it was. I got to go to bed. And I was like, fair enough, dude. I was just so, I was so fucking stoked that you, that we at least had one person in the chat who was a little bit active throughout that entire stream. Ironically enough, the last three fights ended in quick knockouts. So, I mean, you could have stayed up another like 40 minutes, but I get it. I get it. Trust me. I was fading that night too. Uh, Jail, shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining me pretty much throughout that entire Ryzen stream. Uh, the the translator is a software engineer who does this on the side. One sleep till the African prince, prince knocks out Robert. Oh, yes. I'll let you two run away with this one. JL's convinced DDP is going to... Well, see, but Jail, correct me if I'm wrong. You want that to happen, not because you don't like Robert Whitaker. You don't like Robert Whitaker fans. You explain that to me once, if I'm not mistaken. 
Which, like, Robert Whitaker is, like, the nicest fucking fighter on the roster, I think. <laughs> He's at least in, like, the top three nicest fighters on the roster. Everyone loves Robert Whitaker. Good on JL. What a champ. Dude, it was awesome. And, like, JL and I, we don't, we clearly don't agree on everything. But it, but it's awesome conversation. He gets me fired up. I get him fired up. I, I, I don't know what I'd do without you, JL. <laughs> I trained with Rob. He is next level. Man, that, that's so cool. It would be an honor just to meet that guy. I like Robert, but those fans are dramatic and sensitive. Oh, you know who? There's some other fans who are dramatic and sensitive. There's a, there's other fighter fans who are dramatic and sensitive. I, and, and I made the argument, I know JL have talked about that, and I have talked about this before. I argue that every fan base who are hardcore fans of a one particular fighter are the same. They're all trash. <laughs> you know, like all, all those commenters on Twitter, all those YouTube commenters who are like diehard crazy fans for a fighter or a sports team, they're all fucking trash. So that's why like, I don't judge. I don't, I don't judge a fighter. I don't judge. I don't judge a fighter. I don't pick a fighter to win or lose based off the trash fucking social media fan base. But that's just me. I understand it riles you up in, in some uh, cases, JL. So I get it. And like I said, I, I respect your passion. <laughs> uh, I would say no. I would say no. Just because he doesn't swear doesn't make him the nicest uh, fighter. He's taken jabs at, at various fighters. Um... And and rebuttals, which fair enough. I don't like, of, of course, like defend yourself. Whereas Robert kind of goes, eh, he can say what he wants to say. I'll knock him out in the ring, mate. So I would disagree. Bilal's not the nicest fighter. Bilal, Bilal's a passive aggressive motherfucker. Let's be honest. I'm not a fan of Robert because he is a fighter I like. It's because he is a bloke I like who happens to fight. <laughs> All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Alif against Rat Chadej. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I'm just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen quick. I would say Bilal is definitely a respectful fighter, but I would not say he's the nicest guy. Two minutes and 23 seconds and oh. Rachedej in the blue corner with a nice combo there. Alif definitely has the range on him. Oh, and Alif lands a left hook and it is over. Alif lands a left hook and he dropped him. He dropped him. It is over. It is over. It is over. It is over. What a celebration. What a celebration. Clean left hook knocks him the fuck out. Are you kidding me? What a knockout. Oh, was it a right hand? I'm going to have to see the replay, but it was a beautiful hook that just knocked him out clean. All right, let's take a look at the replay, folks. Okay. I don't even think that right hand landed. No, the right hand didn't even land. What are these broadcasters talking about? The right hand didn't even land. Left jab, with the left jab barely got through. He threw a right, but it was completely blocked. It didn't hit the mark at all. Left hook right to the chin, knocks him out. Face to the canvas, it is all over. What was that, 30 seconds of a fight? 30 seconds? West Coast, good morning, my man. <laughs> Happy Friday. Bilal tried to eye, but Leon's finger... The dirty fighter. How's Bilal passive aggressive? I'm just saying Hazmat is a brat compared to the guy. But, but like, I'm not comparing, JL. Who brought up Hazmat? You did. You brought up Hazmat. No one's comparing right now. That's not the conversation. That's not the conversation, buddy. The conversation was Robert Whitaker is the nicest fighter in the UFC. And Bilal's re a respectful fighter, but a little a little passive aggressive. No one, no one was comparing him to Hamza. You brought that shit up, brother. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. What a knockout. So, JL, are we done with the Whitaker conversation and moving to Hazmat now? Like, like I don't get it, brother. Like, you, that wasn't the conversation. 
Uh, I told you my coin toss was going to cost me. Who is the main event for? So the main event is uh, Fabio Reyes against Pong Siri. Now, Pong Siri has fought, I think, like two or three Friday fights recently. Uh, and quickly, JL, like Hazma is not a nice fighter. Let's just say that either. So I'll, I'll agree. If you want to go comparison, sure. Hamza's more of a dick than Bilal. That, I think that is common knowledge. <laughs> but that wasn't the conversation. Anyways. Oh, okay. So Pong Siri, yeah, he beat Tyson Harrison. Unanimous decision, Tyson Harrison. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Pong Siri was just a little too much for him. Um, okay, he beat uh, Furzan. Why did I think he lost to Sisek? Two unanimous decisions in his last fight. He got knocked out by... Ramazanov back in 2021 and was on a three fight losing streak before winning his first Muay Thai fight in one championship against Sean Clancy back in 2020. So he's on a two fight win streak right now. Unanimous decisions. Oh, yes. And he gets the bonus. Let's go. Uh, yeah, but Robert is nicer than that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a bit confused on passive aggressive. Tell me how Bilal is passive aggressive if Robert isn't, because Robert doesn't say passive aggressive shit. Bilal, you know, does every now and then to his opponent. But Bilal does like not shit talk, but he he throws he throws certain lines at his opponent where Robert really doesn't. You know what I mean? Robert just didn't I just give an example? Robert just like oh he said he said I suck. That's okay. I'm gonna knock him out, mate. Like you know he's he's just. With a big smile on his face, where Bilal like sunglasses on, he gets a little he gets a little cheeky, which is fine. I, again, I'm not trying to. <laughs> Every time I don't bend over for Bilal Muhammad, JL thinks that I'm hurt, that I'm ripping on him. I'm not on an island, buddy. <laughs> I'm not on an island. <laughs> One little thing, one little little shade at all, even if it's not even shade. And JL, man, don't throw your phone at the wall. It's all good, buddy. How many times did I said it last night? I think I wrote it down. I think I said it 20 times. I do not hate Bilal Muhammad. I do not think he's a bad fighter. I'm just never going to be a super fan of him. Unless he goes undefeated and knocks out every fucking contender and becomes the longest standing welterweight champion and beats GSP's records, then then we have a conversation. But until then, just accept that I am never going to be as big of a Bilal fan as you, and that's okay, brother. That's okay, because you're never going to be a, uh, a, a Carlos Condit fan like I am. You know what I mean? And that's okay. Am I dogging on you for not, for not loving Carlos Condit? No, absolutely not, brother. These skinny motherfuckers are hitting like heavyweights. I'm scared. Dude, these guys are incredible. I love Muay Thai. I love Muay Thai. I just don't want to make this stream the Bilal show again, man. We had a whole exclusive membership stream last night that was literally an hour of Bilal talk. <laughs> but uh, yes, I do think he's more passive aggressive than he is a disrespectful shit talker. Whereas Hamza Chemaev is, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... To go back to that comment and to put a bow on it, even though we didn't even, we weren't even comparing him to anybody, we weren't even bringing up Hazmat in that conversation. We're talking about Whitaker. I'll agree, Hamzat's more of a dick than Bilal. Uh, wonder when Yuri versus Jamal Hill are fighting. I know, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. It kind of sucks for Jamal Hill because, like, he uh, he said he wanted to be active, but like, he's fighting Yuri next, right? So. He just has to wait on him. I'll just say this. Bilal is cheeky and one of the best shit talkers. But you can't have it both ways, man. Now, see, now I'm confused, Jail. You say he's the nicest fighter. Then you say he's cheeky and one of the best shit talkers. Like, what is he? What is he? I think, Jail, your hatred for Bilal is next level. <laughs> West Coast will never like Bilal. I heard GSP is going to be grappling Habib in December. I... I have not heard Habib's name. I've not heard Habib's name. Uh, where did you hear that? Because I'm interested. But yes, he did announce, and the UFC announced that he will be participating in the UFC Fight Pass Invitational in November, which is, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. 
Um, it's yet to be seen. It's yet to be seen. I think Jamal Hill is a hundred percent um harder striking power than Yuri. I think Yuri is way more unorthodox, and that can be scary. I like them both. I like them both. He's the nicest, but can switch it on and off. Okay. So you're taking the cop out there, JL. I see. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. He will be coaching. And then Guru said, not for sure, but who knows? Yeah, I, I, I need a better source than the Guru. Um, Because Guru, he doesn't report the news. He reports on the news. You know what I'm saying? JSP said Khabib wasn't on the list of fighters. I mean, things can change, you know. I don't think Khabib's making weight. Because <laughs> you look at uh, GSP's physique compared to Khabib's these days, GSP's like lost weight. Where Khabib is... He's divulging in the boogas. Yuri was losing the fight until he wasn't. That is true. That was, that was Glover's last swan song. Because Glover got absolutely dismantled against uh, Jamal Hill. It's just interesting. I, I'm, I'm very excited to see um, just the style matchup, right, JL? Like, because it's very different. Like, Yuri isn't fighting a, a fighter like Glover who takes shots and moves forward. He's fighting a guy kind of like him who wants to utilize the range and then set up, you know, range attacks to get into the pocket. Now, Yuri's a little bit crazier as he'll like, he'll go full on capoeira before getting into the pocket to throw an elbow, whereas like Jamal Hill is very more a traditional fighter. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Jamal Hill is obviously longer, but Yuri's a big boy. Um, I don't think either of them are really going to take this fight to the ground. I mean, Yuri might, but uh, no, I think it's going to be a fun striking match. And I think someone's going to go down. It's going to be awesome. MA Guru is someone I can't love some of those takes. No, fair enough. He's not everyone's cup of tea. I like. I'm never gonna like sit here and defend. Why don't you like the Guru Roba? I think he's a breath of fresh air in the MMA YouTube community. Um, some of his takes are bad. Some of his takes I think are pretty good. He's he's a smart guy as far as covering mixed martial arts, but he stays within his shtick. You know what I'm saying? Also, wonder about a Colby versus Leon date. Colby Covington, I think, is the longest and has the longest inactivity streak in the in the UFC right now. I did share something on Twitter that had the the numbers. I think it's like five hundred some days. It might even be is it like five hundred some days of inactivity. You got lucky. Hill dominated Glover. I mean, MMA math isn't always correct, right? I think the the style in that one definitely played a part. And I was wrong of first one to admit it. JL JL was ripping on me. Why don't you think Hill's going to win? Well, because I saw Glover, you know, take Yuri, you know, to the trenches and back before, you know, slipping up there at the end. Um, I think style wise, Yuri, I mean, Jamal's probably a better matchup for Yuri and Yuri is going to be a fun matchup for Jamal. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be awesome. Guru needs to stand up to the haters. Oh shit, wrong words. Yes, Guru needs to literally stand up to the haters. Hill's a chin and good defense. Yuri has gotten rocked in all his fights. Uh, in fairness, Jamal Hill hasn't faced someone who hits as crazy as Yuri. Not as hard, but as crazy with those elbows and some of those spinning moves. Um, yeah, Jamal Hill does have a chin though. Like, look, JL, don't twist it now and make me come across like I'm hating. You, you do this with every conversation. I, I, I don't hate Jamal Hill and I don't hate Yuri Prohaska either. I'm very excited to see that fight. Why can't I be excited to see the fight? You tell me, why can't I be excited to see both of these guys fight? <laughs> I think it's gonna be an awesome fight. <laughs> uh, Jamal lost a fight when he, when his arm got snapped. Uh, look at it and went shit. That sucks. Came back and won the title in the same card against a guy who snapped his arm. I mean, he was on the same card. You can 100% like uh, Bilal JL. Like I said, I mean, again, Bilal or Bilal JL. Just tell me in the live chat. Like, do you constantly need the confirmation from me that like I don't hate the guy? You know where I stand on him, right? Like. I'm just saying, because I feel like every stream I have to, I feel that I feel the need anyways to 
to let you know that like I'm never going to support him like you, but I'm never going to shit on him like like some people. And that's okay. And that's okay. <laughs> Bilal Show 2.0, baby. I got to rename this stream as well. <laughs> All right. Let's get to this next fight here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen. But again, whether you support Yuri or support Jamal Hill, it's going to be an awesome fight. Can't wait for it to go down when it goes down. You can't let it rile you up, man. Why Why do you let, you know, the the keyboard warriors f fire you up? I don't get it, man. Don't let them fire. Don't listen. Who gives a shit about them? They're nobodies. They're nobodies. Don't let them get to you. Don't let them bully you, son. Two minutes and 22 seconds on the clock here. High geek attempt by Mahan. Is that how you say it? Mahan? Mahan in the blue shorts. Rachan in the red, and Rachan just landed a nice shot on Mahahan two minutes into this fight. I'll get right back. I see Mr. Grant Gregory in jail uh, commented again in the live chat. We'll get right back to that in between the rounds. <laughs> One minute and 48 seconds. Gauging the distance here is Mahahan. High kick attempt by Mahahan. Tried to throw a left hook was Rachan. West Coast, it's good to see you this morning, buddy. You got any plans for this weekend? And that extends to everyone in the live chat. One minute and 24 seconds. Yuri was not busted by USADA. Who said that? Uh, what what outlet said that? Hit me up with the the link in the live chat, buddy. I'm I'm very curious now to see your source. One minute on the clock. Because if that's the case, Yuri ain't fighting, and Jamal Hill's gonna fight uh, the next contender, and that opens up a whole new can of worms. So let me know who reported that, because I'm very curious now. Fifty four seconds on the clock here. High key attempt by Mahan and. Catched by Rachan, threw him to the ground. 45 seconds left on the clock here. Body kick by Rachan, but coming with two nice shots there is Mahan. Mahan going with some crazy jumping knees there. I mean, I don't think any of those are going to land. A little overzealous there. Nice kicks as he walks forward. Both these fighters have their ankle wraps, by the way, folks. 25 seconds left on the clock. Again, we'll get right back to the comments at the end of this round and at the end of this fight. If I miss any of the comments, my apologies if I miss them live. Just rewrite them if it's really important. And if not, I promise I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Oh, nice counter body shot there by Rachan. And that is it for the first round. All right, let's catch up on some of these comments. JL, make Isha pick between Bilal being the best fighter and Rose versus Carla being... <laughs> are you trying to make me puke Mr. Grant Gregory so what do you think of Yair winning has, has the fight happened yet Yair won this is news to me and again hit me up uh, I'm very curious I'm very curious now some rumors about Yuri got busted and there was no injury that is the stupidest fucking rumor ever then because that's not even rumor. That's just that's just false. Because it was factually reported, and there are various articles from you know trusted MMA sources that even like with quotes from the, the fucking doctors who were helping him. He was tested like forty five times during last fight camp. It was stupid. Yeah, he's one of the most tested fighters, but uh, he hasn't pissed hot yet. Uh, JL. Cite your sources. You know why Hamzat's inactive. So so don't don't twist that. You know why. Again, you're a smart guy, JL. You're you you're you're all over Twitter reading all the comments by the cesspool of assholes. Like you, you you're a smart guy. You know why Hamza can't come back to North America right now. And why he's waiting for the Abu Dhabi card. And it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. 
But when, uh, but when you have to suck on the teeth that is Khadir, Khadirov, you don't ask questions. You do what you're told. Uh, you can mix. You could miss the next pound for pound headshot dead tomorrow. Oh! A nice knockdown there by Rachan to start this second round. Getting the count here. He's good to go. We are back in it. One minute and 58 seconds. Left hand by Mahahan. And it's unfortunate, the Khazmat situation, guys. That'd be like Trudeau holding... Uh, I guess there's no good Canadian fighter right now, but let's just say GSP was still active. That'd be like Trudeau being like, no, you can't go to the US. You can't go anywhere else to fight. We're not letting you leave the country. So promote promote MMA here. Or at least we're not letting you come back to uh come back to the US. Cause I think he was able to go to Sweden. I don't even th- actually mate, I don't even think he's been to Sweden lately. I don't even think he was able to leave uh Correct me if I'm wrong. Was he able to go train at uh, at All Stars? I know he's not allowed in back in the United States right now. One minute on the clock. Kadyrov's orders. High kick attempt there by Rachan. Manhand with a nice shot. Manhand knocks out. Oh, he's not out. I thought he was starfish flat. But no, Rachan gets back up to his feet. He's getting the count. They each have a knockdown. What a tremendous fight. Again, we'll get back to the comments here in a sec. And here we go. Mahan is just putting the pressure on Rachan right now. 35 seconds left. Body shot. Left hook. Twenty seven seconds. And if anything, JL, you gotta be happy Khazmat's there because now Bilal is gonna get that title shot over him. <laughs> Left hook, right hand. Rachan is still in this. Kind of a untechnical knee thrown by Mahan, but Mahahan, I should say. And that is it for the second round. What an exciting second round, guys. What an exciting second round. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. You can miss the next pound for pound headshot dead tomorrow. I mean, I'm don't worry. I'm going to be... I, I am going to watch the event. I just can't necessarily watch the main fights live. But I'm sure after OAR, after the concert, we'll, we'll hit up a bar and I'll just, you know, rewatch it at home. I know why husband is ducking him in inactive. He, he needs to seek asylum in Sweden. But he has a new wife, so he probably won't. By interfering, he gave him seconds. No, he was absolutely next in line. That was, that was, it was stated. As he should have been. In my opinion. He was one of the most active fighters in that year. He is, like his ranking was, was at the top of the division. Absolutely. He absolutely uh, earned that title shot. I'm not a I'm not a Hazmat simp like the Bo Nickel simps on Twitter that have been pissing off JL too, but uh, I've recognized greatness where it is, and holy fuck, that guy, <laughs> he's something else. And you know what was awesome about him is he showed that he could strike too, which was really cool. Round three. Let's get it all. But hey, to each their own. I understand people not a, a huge uh, Chimaev fan. He's not everyone's cup of tea, and he pissed me off too when he missed weight, but hearing more and more about that, I mean, I'm more pissed off at the situation than than him in particular. And I'm glad he didn't get to beat up Nate Diaz because that would have just, just been sad. That would have just been sad. I don't know, Jay, you don't like Nate Diaz either, do you? So, like, which, which, uh, would you have rather seen Hazma beat up Nate Diaz or were you satisfied with him uh, wrestling uh, Holland? And absolutely ragdolling him. Two minutes on the clock here. I'm curious. One minute and 55 seconds. As he should be, should have been given. Sorry my if I fucked up my grammar there. One minute and 47 seconds on the clock. He was supposed to get that spot in London. They both got a decision win and a finish last year. 
both ranked opponents too. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock in this third round. I love this. This is why I love one championship. After that crazy second round, they each got a knockdown. Both being a little bit more conservative here, looking for that kill shot. And the ref just screaming at them, you gotta fight. You gotta fight. Absolutely love it. One minute on the clock and Mahan walking forward now. Nice counter left by Rachan. Rachan with a body shot and a left hand. They're clinching up against the ropes right now. This is a great fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great fight. Body shot by Rachan. Rachan pushing Mahahan into the corner right now. Thirty-five seconds on the clock here. Bot left body shot by Rachan. Twenty-four seconds. Low kick there by Mahahan. Oh, and a nice right hand by Mahahan. That hurt Rachan. Who do you guys think won this third round? Who do you guys think won this third round? I mean, this fight is hard to score, man. This fight is hard to score. Final seconds of this third round. Rachan goes, come on, come on. Rachan now moving forward to end this fight. Nice left hand by Rachan. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna finish it. It is all over. I tip my cap to these two fighters. That was a tremendous fight, guys. That was a tremendous fight. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you think is going to win this one? Let me know in the live chat before we hear the decision. JL, Mr. Grant Gregory, West Coast, Thidges, anyone watching right now, let me know your thoughts on this last fight. I want to hear your opinions. I have a friend who swears Nate fought Hamza and got him in a guillotine 44 seconds into the fight. He has so much detail about who, but the whole situation, he almost convinced me on a new Mandela effect. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Needs to be a draw. I know one thing JL and I can agree on, though. The welterweight division is fucking stacked. And pretty much every matchup, even outside the top 15 now, is an absolute banger. I think welterweight, lightweight, featherweight. Probably the most stacked divisions right now. Middleweight sucks, which is unfortunate. Because like when we were growing up, middleweight was... Awesome. It was so good. When I was growing up, and I shouldn't say we because I'm a little bit older than JL and I'm a little bit younger than Mr. Grant, but back in the day, middleweight was such a better division. Light heavyweight's getting there, but uh, welterweight, lightweight, and featherweight, in my opinion, are... Bantamweight's pretty good too now. Split decision. And Mahahan wins split decision. Blood on his chest. Gets this one split decision. It was a close fight, ladies and gentlemen. It was a close fight. So Rachan won the first round. I'm guessing the second round was... I mean, the second round had to go to Mahahan despite both them being dropped in the third round went to Mahahan as well. Honestly, I'm in Mr. Grand Gregory's camp. I think the second round should have been even. Uh, tie round. They each get one. One should have been a draw. Welterweight is the best division. So good, man. So much talent. Like I said, even out of the top 15, you'll see some banger fights. I absolutely love it. Guys, I swear Anderson Silva just tapped to Chael Sonnen. <laughs> I clearly felt a tap. Everything but light heavyweight. Home cooked win. I picked the guy who got knocked down in the second. Good fight, though, man. Good fight. I appreciate all you guys in the live chat right now. Such a great morning of fights. <laughs> every night, I always... Every Thursday, like, I try to go to bed early to be, like, to have a lot of energy for these events. And I feel like I'm still bringing some energy. I'm still... I still feel like I'm bringing the, the passion. But uh, <laughs> without coffee, it's... It's rough, folks. Luckily... Luckily, brewed some last night, so I was ready to go and warm up this morning. But again, I, I never dread these. Like I'm just like, oh, man, I, I wish I got more sleep as I'm waking up in the morning, dragging myself to the seat. But as soon as I fire up, as soon as I fire up that intro song, and I'm, I'm just going to bring it up right now. As soon as I
in the chat, which is amazing. It's so much better to interact with you guys in the live chat. It's so much better. It, it's it's so much better to be commentating on a fight, doing a fight companion with the live chat absolutely buzzing. I know there, there's times where we're, we're all engaging in conversation, especially when we were talking music and I, and I got behind on some of the comments. Again, my apology. The, the bigger we get, it, it's going to be harder for me to hit all the comments in real time, but I still encourage every single one of you to do so. Hit me up with the comments. We're totally interactive. Yeah, we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction, but the most important part of that is interacting with you guys. And if I don't get to the comments in real time, especially during the action, don't worry. I will get back to them. I will catch up. And if it's something important, just, just retype it, recomment it, and we will get to it as soon as we can. Again, big shout out to everyone who's joining us right now in the live chat. The next two fighters are making their way to the ring. We have four more fights left on this card. This might be one of the shortest Friday fights. Where are we at? We're two hours and 47. Okay, we're three hours in. We're th Guys, we haven't even taken a break yet. We are three hours into the stream. The conversation has been flowing. You guys are amazing with the comments. I mean, this, this is flown by. Now, I know on the schedule it says that we're slated to do another fight promotion at 11 a.m. my time. I don't think we're going to be able to hit that one, so we might cancel the one at noon, but we'll do a membership stream today and an LFA, and we're staying up all night for Muay Thai because we're starting a Muay Thai, a fair text Muay Thai at, I believe, midnight or 11 p.m. my time, midnight Eastern, so stay tuned for that. Ton of streams this weekend. Tomorrow morning we're going to be doing some streams. Um, and then Sunday evening, I believe I have one slated as well. Whoops, not round one. Next. But the next fighters are making their walk out right now, folks. Keep the comments coming. And like this video if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 20 likes on the video. That's, that's not the biggest ask. I know we can do it, folks. I know we can do it. Do, 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 do. Head into bed. I'll hook you up when I'm vertical. Let's hope we can get this done. Yes, let's do it, Mr. Grant Gravery. If, if it's before LFA, we can get it done. If it's before LFA, let, let's fucking get it done. That's at 8 p.m. Central Time. Let's let's aim to try to get it done before then. Maybe like 6 p.m. my time or something like that. But uh, yeah, hit me up. Have a great night, Mr. Grant Gregory. I will see you in the evening my time, in the morning your time. I'm, I'm Guys, Mr. Grant Gregory and I, we're collaborating tonight. We are collaborating. Let's go. <laughs> And we're going to make it a regular thing. Mr. Grant Gregory and the City Life Project YouTube channel are going to be doing so many more collaborations down the road, folks. So tune in for that. Cannot wait. Phony, you still on? Okay, you watching the wins? We had 23 likes. God damn, you guys are fucking amazing. I know I say it all the time, but I hope you know it's genuine. You guys are fucking amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All of you who liked. I mean, four more fights left. Let's see if we can get this bitch to 30 likes that would be amazing um i am not watching the weigh-ins right now i'll probably tune into the weigh-in show after this while i'm doing some extra work setting up uh whether we do another mma stream you know in a couple hours or a membership stream before lfa i'm definitely gonna watch it but no not watching them live right now i try to just stick to as little tabs and things going on on my streaming computer as much as possible to not interfere with uh the internet so I got one device streaming. I got like my cell phone here. I got a couple tabs on the main computer. So if I had the WANs up to it, probably even more distracted because I got I got one eye on the live chat, one eye on the fights here. I I need another eye. I need three eyes, and then I could watch another one. <laughs> um, any any drama though? Anything um anything of note from the weigh-in shows? Anyone missed weight yet? Uh, is Chris Weidman hanging out with the boys for the weigh-in show? Chris Weidman's getting ready to fight. Actually, he shouldn't be drinking Modelo's. Good shout out to everyone who's liked this video. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break here, folks. I'm going to refill my coffee. Fighters are making their walk into the ring. Don't go anywhere. Literally, I will be right back in like two minutes. Like the video if you haven't already. We hit our like goal of 20 likes. We're at 23. Shout out to Phony. Shout out to the exclusive members. Shout out to everyone in this chat right now. Smash that like button. Let's get this to 30. I will see you folks on the other side for this next Muay Thai fight here. Let me know your predictions in the live chat as well. I'm literally just running upstairs to refill my coffee mug, and I will be right back. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Like and subscribe. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in two minutes for the next fight on the other side. 
One Friday Fights 24, Reyes vs. Pong series live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this quick break. Let's go. And we are back. Sorry, I missed one minute of this fight. I didn't realize uh, both of the fighters were in the ring there when I went up to grab some coffee. I had to warm it up quick. So my apologies, folks. We got Song Fang Hong against Den Payak. And my money's on Den Payak in this one, folks. Actually, I'm not putting any money down. I just... That's who I'm predicting who will win this one. Again, like and subscribe if you haven't already, folks. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We do live fight companions every single weekend. So if you dig what you see here, we cover all sorts of promotions, all sorts of martial arts, not just one championship, UFC, the whole nine yards. And oh, what a nice few shots there by Den Payak as he was being pressured into the corner by Song Fang Kong. One minute and 10 seconds left on the clock here. Big shout out to everyone who's been participating in the live chat this morning. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. And a special shout out to all the exclusive members here on the channel as well. Knee to the body there by Song Fang, Song Fang Kong. This has been the all name team. The all name card today, folks. 48 seconds left in the first round. Nice left hand by Song Fang Kong and a good counter right by Dem Payak. So far, Song Fang Kong is getting the better of Dem Payak. Dem Payak in the blue. Song Fang Kong in the red corner. High kick attempt by Song Fang Kong. Inside low kick by Dem Payak. High kick attempt by Dem Payak. And that actually went, got through a little bit there. Song Fang Kong with some beautiful counters. Song Fang Kong is some dog in him, man. He just keeps pushing forward, throwing bombs here. Pressuring Dem Payak into the corner. Dem Payak with a nice left elbow. Knee to the body by Dem Payak. TRP said, what's going on, dude? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. And that is it for the first round. How's it going, TRP Zed? How's your day going? Big plans this weekend? All right, folks, how do you score that first round? I got Song Fang Kong out of the, <laughs> the fag group. 
I got to be careful saying that name there. Oh, beautiful shots there by Song Fang Hong. Throwing the harder shots for sure. Den Payak, I mean, I've been a fan of him for a little while. The guy's the guy's sick, but uh, his opponent here is rising to the occasion. My goodness. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the live chat. Who do you think is winning this fight? Who do you have winning this fight? We got round two coming up. Let's get it all! Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Song Feng Kong is coming out. Swinging and pressuring Den Payak up against the ropes again. Kicks. Punches, high kicks, body shots, inside low kick. Song, Song Fat Kong's output is tremendous, folks. Den Payak just looking for that counter blow. Song Fan Kong again pressuring him into the corner there. Reversed was Den Payak as he got into a clinch and was pushing Song Fan Kong up against the cage. But beautiful body kick by Song Fan Kong. This guy's like a kicking machine. My goodness. Inside low kick by Dempayak. Song Fan Kong didn't like that one and caught the second one. Inside low kick again by Dempayak, but he ate two big shots by Song Fan Kong in the counter. Another clinching and some good short elbows by Song Fan Kong. Dempayak with a few shots there and a beautiful right hand by Song Fan Kong. Song Fan Kong just hits harder, man. Song Fan Kong just hits harder and he's throwing more volume. I have no plans. I'm going to buy some beers and have fun watching UFC 290 with an awesome fight card. It is an awesome fight card. And that sounds like a tremendous plan for the weekend, buddy. It's good to see you, TRPZ. Nice left hand by Song Fan Kong. Any other fight cards you're looking forward to this weekend? I know there's not too many. Any deep cut cards? Right uppercut and left hand by Den Payak. Song Fan Kong slowing down a little bit. He's not fighting at the pace that he was in that first half of this round and the entire first round. Maybe this is a big chance for Den Payak to get back in this, but Den Payak, having said all that, has eaten some big shots in this round as well. Nice short elbow there by Den Payak. Right hand by Song Fan Kong. Front kick by Den Payak, but a little bit of a muffin shot. Oh, and beautiful count, beautiful uh, hooks there, I should say, by Song Fan Kong. And one of those rocked Den Payak. Den Payak, a little blood under the right eye. 35 seconds left on the clock. Love both of these guys' as shorts, by the way. The black ones for Song Fan Kong and those baby blues by Den Payak. Or on Dempayak. Muay Thai, you know, kits, Muay Thai shorts. That's my favorite. Uh, like, I love the gi and, and gi uh, jiu-jitsu too. And I like how some of them have their, like, custom gis. But uh, nothing beats Muay Thai shorts. Boxing shorts is too big and crazy. But Muay Thai shorts, best fight kit out there. Oh, beautiful left by... Oh, my goodness. Beautiful left by Song Fan Kong. Oh my goodness, what a second round. What a second round. That is it for the second round, folks. Again, Dempayak had a better second round, and he landed some good shots, but I still think... I think Song Fan Kong is up two rounds to none. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat as we take a look at some of these replays. Fuck, man. Dempayak has been taking some bombs. Hooks, elbows, body kicks, low kicks. Dempayak is a tough son of a bitch as he's still in this one. Oh, knees to the body in the clinch too. I mean, man. Yes, I did, Andrew. We did a member stream last night. How's it going, Andrew? Thank you so much for dropping by. Again, guys, smash that like button. We are so close to our, our second goal of 30 likes. We already hit our first goal of 20 likes, which is amazing. I appreciate every single one of you who smashed that like button and who subscribed to the channel. Let's try to hit 30. We have we had four more fights left on the card. I think we can get, what was that, seven more likes? I think we can do it. There's seven people watching. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Andrew, it's good to see you, buddy. Third and final round. How are you guys scoring this one so far? I got a two rounds to none for Song Fang Kong. Let's see if Dempayak can finish this. Round three. Let's get it all. Let's get it on. 
I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. GSP is one of my favorite uh, athletes of all time, not just fighter athletes. Like he, he's arguably the greatest Canadian athlete of all time outside Terry Fox. Look, Gretzky was amazing. Lemieux was amazing. But as far as straight up athlete, oh, and a nice elbow by Dem Payak. Now Song Fan Kong is cut. Song Fan Kong is cut on the left side of his eye. Um, TRP said, let's get back to that comment in a sec here. Same with Andrew. This, this fight's just way too exciting. I can't keep my eyes off of it. <laughs> so I'll get back to the GSP conversation. Andrew, I'm glad you're having a good week. Two minutes on the clock here. Andrew, you can watch these for free, buddy, on YouTube if you want to also watch these fights. One championship YouTube channel. Oh, and a high kick by Dempayak. High kick by Dempayak. That made Song Fang Kong fall against the ropes. Dempayak is definitely winning this round thus far. We're only halfway through the round. If he can finish Song Fang Kong, who is starting to gas it, that would be an incredible comeback as Song Fang Kong has been leading the charge and, in my opinion, won the first and second round. Song Fat Kong moves forward and lands a big shot there before clinching. Den Payak, though, pretty much dropped him and cut him big time here. But is that enough to win this fight? We shall see. One minute and 19 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick by Song Fan Kong. Inside low kick by Den Payak and a high kick by Den Payak. One minute and 11 seconds on the clock. They clinch, separate. Reluctantly separate, but separate. One minute left on the clock here. High kick attempt by Dempayak. He misses and then ducks under the kick of Song Fan Kong. Song Fan Kong pressuring Dempayak into the ropes here. They separate back in the center of the ring. TRP said, "Have a great, have a great day, buddy." And Song Fan Kong just dropped Dempayak with thirty seconds left in the round. Dempayak goes, I'm good, I'm good, but he's getting the count, he's getting the count, he has 30 seconds to end this fight, this is Song Fan Kong's fight to lose here, Dempayak, if he doesn't, if he doesn't knock him out, this fight is going to Song Fan Kong, 18 seconds of what a war, oh, and a body kick drops Dempayak, Dempayak, he's rocked, he's slowing down here, he threw a right hand and got countered with two hard shots by Song Fan Kong. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I it! It is all over! What a fight. What a tremendous fight. I have Song Fan Kong winning that one. Dem Pike maybe squeezed out that third. Or I'm sorry, Dem Pike got dropped in that third round. Song Fan Kong, unanimous decision. He won all three rounds. But man, this Dem Pike kid is. He's sick, man, and I hope to see him more in the promotion. All right, quickly, I hope to your PZ. I hope you're still here, buddy, but what do you think about the GSP fight in December in grappling? I think it's awesome. I love George St. Pierre. He said that he's get, getting that itch to compete again, but I remember, guys, like, George St. Pierre never loved fighting. He never loved fighting. He did it because he was tremendous at it, and it was to make money, and he was just, he was almost a prodigy in the sense that he would pick up the martial arts outside of just karate and striking sports so easily on the regional scene and was like still learning upon entering the UFC and was able to beat some of the best in the world, out wrestle some of the best in the world without a wrestling background. Like he's one of the only dominant wrestlers in the UFC who didn't have a wrestling background, who came from karate, which is unbelievable. Um, he's been training with Danaher for years now in jujitsu and I'm excited to see what he has in grappling. Now, I don't want to see him go against like this young guy. And Song Fan Kong wins this one unanimous decision. That was the right decision. I, I don't want to see him fight like some big name jujitsu guy who's obviously going to beat him. I'd love to see him up against like a UFC veteran or a UFC someone who's retired in the UFC as well, or just someone retired in MMA. Um, who is you know also either grappling on the side, still training jujitsu, or just another name, I guess, because there's going to be eyes on this card regardless of who he rolls with. Again, everyone jumped to the Khabib conclusion. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I hope he doesn't just get fed to the wolves. I hope it's you know something like you know an Anthony Smith to share. I know Anthony Smith's still in the UFC, but he's a little long in the tooth. He's his career is not going to go on for that much longer. You know what I mean? So 
And George St. Pierre, he's in his 40s now, too. So to give him like a young a guy in his 20s who's like a jujitsu specialist, I mean, that just doesn't make sense. Like, let's, let's, yeah, we want it to be entertaining, so to speak, but we also want, we want to see GSP roll as long as we can. So I'm not, I'm not saying give him a can. I'm saying give him someone at a similar level. You know what would be awesome? Nick Diaz. Like someone, you know, who, who's older as well. And I mean, there's a little history there. They can promote the fucking hell out of it. And Nick Diaz is a grappler. Nick Diaz is a jujitsu guy. And uh, I think that would be awesome. GSP Nick Diaz, number two, but in grappling. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing good. My week is busy Wednesday through, Wednesday through today. What have you been busy with, Andrew? Again, TRP said. Great to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining the stream. You're an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as well. All right, three more fights left on the card here, folks. Three more fights left on the card. We got Rambong against Sing Dom Thong. He's one of the best fighters. He is one of the best fighters of all time. And Andrew, I would argue he's one of the best Canadian athletes of all time. You know, I, I hold Terry Fox to like, legend status personally is I, I mean I will always say Terry Fox is the greatest Canadian athlete of all time George St. Pierre has to be up there he's up there with the you know the, the greats as well shoot who's that runner god I feel bad for some Canadian I am uh what's his name is it one second is it DeGrasse Tyson no that's the fucking um Jesus Andre DeGrasse. DeGrasse Tyson is the astrophysicist. Uh, DeGrasse Tyson, I mean, he he's he's amazing as well, and I would say he's in probably the top five. Um, I don't put Wayne Gretzky up there. I'd put, as far as, like, greatest athlete, greatest hockey player, sure, even though I still think Lemieux is the greatest hockey player of all time. As far as athlete, I mean, you, you got to pick, like, a, I don't know, maybe, like, Sidney Crosby, Nathan McKinnon. I don't know. I, I try to keep hockey players off I'm not, I'm not, i don't try to keep hockey players off the list they're just a different breed they're just a different breed busy with family and work hey well it's good to stay busy andrew it's good to stay busy do you got any plans this weekend all right fighters making their walk out to the ring right now three more fights left on the card ladies and gentlemen in this next one they're fighting at 127. Yes, we have a catch weight at 127 pounds. And what a treat. What a treat. Started off with two MMA bouts and then the rest all Muay Thai. And I do like kickboxing and I do like one's kickboxing, but what a treat it has been just to watch Muay Thai pretty much throughout this entire card. It is amazing. You know what else is amazing? All you folks commenting in the live chat. Tomorrow we're going to track meet and that's all. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. What are you competing in? You do uh, running, jumping, the old shot put. Fucking love the shot put at the at the school track meets. What are you competing in, Andrew? That's awesome. Fuck, you're inspiring me to like go for a run after this. Oh, one sec, folks. I got to plug in my... I have to plug in my iPad where that's what I'm watching this on before it dies. So give me one quick sec. I won't even go to that uh, break video. I'm just going to put a little music on while I plug in my iPad before these guys fight. Give me one sec. We do here is go back, 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 back. back. You guys had a money shot of my receding hairline. You like that? <laughs> Shout out to Otis. Old iDubs, rest in peace. <laughs> if you know, you know. 100, 200 meter shot put javelin and standing long jump. Dude, that's aw that is awesome, Andrew. Good luck. Hope you have fun and hope you... uh. 
Hope you kick ass. All right. Love the tattoos there. And he's a big boy. I like his fight kit too, man. Nice shorts. By the way, I got my Muay Thai shorts on, but they're Christmas Muay Thai shorts. <laughs> all right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. What the heck was that? Was that a drop? Dropped right off the bat. Drop right off the bat. Was Sing Dong Thong. First strike thrown. Sing Dong Thong got dropped. Buddy with a sick back tattoo and shorts got dropped. It looks like these guys are both sponsored by the same gym or company. Anyways, high kick attempt by Sing Dong Thong. That one landed on Rambong. 30 seconds into this fight. Already a fighter got dropped. No problem, Andrew. Thank you for all the support you showed to this channel. We'll be cheering you on tomorrow, buddy. Singham Thong has a lot of ground to make up here. He is the fighter with the tattoo in the white shorts in the blue corner. Rambong, the Thai fighter in the red corner, red shorts. Body shot there by... Sing Dom Thong, but he got dropped off the first shot in this fight, so he has some ground to make up here, or he's going to lose this round. I have to go. I'm going to work. Well, have a great work day, Andrew. We'll be streaming multiple times on this channel here today, later tonight, and really late tonight at around midnight as well, so hope to see you then. If not, have a great day, and again, good luck at your track meet tomorrow, buddy. They clinch now, center of the ring. Official separates them. One minute and 26 seconds on the clock. Body shot by Sing Dom Thong. Checked leg kick by Ram or by Sing Dom Thong. Ram Bong threw a low kick at him. One minute and 10 seconds. Stalking Ram Bong is Sing Dom Thong. Sing Dom Thong with a body shot. Right hand Sing Dom Thong. And he knocks down Ram Bong. Rambong, wobbly to get back up to his feet. Barely able to stand. 52 seconds left. Sing Dom Thong. He has a chance to finish his. They each got dropped, but that one was way more crucial. Way more critical, I should say. And drops him again is Sing Dom Thong. Rambong was dropped twice in this round. 35 seconds left. He is on skates. He is on skates. Who is he, Elsa? <laughs> I can't believe Adesanya said that. A right hand by Sing Lam Tong. 20 seconds. Can he finish this fight? Can he finish this fight? He's throwing shots. Rambong desperately trying to clinch your final 10 seconds. This would be huge if Rambong can survive this round. Final seconds. All he needs is one shot. Sing Thong, all he needs is one shot. And that is it for the first round. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Herb Dean is reffing. You think? You'd think? No. This ref, I, I don't think he's done a, that bad of a job so far. But oh my goodness. Foul one. First shot in this fight. I guess the third shot. It was three shots there. That third left hand by Rambong drops Sing Dom Thong in like the opening 30 seconds. And then Sing Dom Thong, late in the fight with like a minute 20, minute 30 left, drops Rambong. Rambong gets back up. He drops him again. Desperately trying to go for that third because that would have ended the fight, but he did not get it. Three, three, uh, three. If you drop three times in a round, the fight is over. So close to finishing that one. Beautiful right hand to drop him there. What a, like, what a fight, man. What a fight. I don't think we'll be able to do the one at noon, Andrew. We might do the the, the end of it. That one, that one's a moving target. Mostly because I have to see if they're actually streaming it. I've never done that promotion before. Um, but we're for sure doing LFA tonight. The count was too funny. Asked him to walk forward. Guy, guy can't walk forward. Fuck it. Yep, he was uh he was very well. I honestly didn't think he was going to survive that one. Two minutes and thirty-eight seconds. On the clock here, second round. Let's get it all. 
Yeah, not sure if he was fit to fight. I mean, he was still he was still wobbling there, but unable to put him out was Sing Dong Dom. Nice left hand by Rambong. And Rambong seemed, seemed to have recovered there in the break because he's looking good so far in this round. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Both of them with their feints. Right hand by Sing Dong Dong. Oh my goodness, a Rambong. Did he drop him? Looks like maybe he tripped there. The, the official doesn't deem it a knockdown. Nice right hand to the body. By Sing Dong Tom. One minute and 44 seconds. Again, shout out to Foul One, one of our exclusive members here on the channel. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, a left hand by Rambong. That hurts Sing Dong Tong. Sing Dong Tong going with the elbow now. They're in the pocket. They're just swinging. Dude, these guys are fucking warriors, man. What a fight. What a fight. Left hand by Sing Dong Tong. Didn't even phase Rambong at all. He keeps walking forward. Singham Thong's looking for that counter to put him out. Back up against the ropes to Singham Thong. Look for that big shot. It's Rambong, but he swinging a miss. And they clinch here. The ref separate is about to separate them. Again, like and subscribe if you haven't already, folks. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss a live stream, so you never miss an upload. Check out our, pr our reaction video. And a video clip from our membership stream on Luke Rockhold being a free agent yet again. We'll have the UFC predictions video coming out later today. Maybe that's what I'll do. We'll maybe we won't do the the noon stream, and I'll finish editing the predictions video and make sure it's up tonight before LFA. Thirty five seconds left in this round. Very different round from the first one that we saw there. Rambong fighting with a vengeance here, right hand. And I think Rambong is actually winning this round. Could be one apiece going into the third. They clinch. 25 seconds left. Again, here's a look, better look at both these guys. 16 seconds on the clock in this second round. They clinch. Oh, a nice left elbow by Rambong. And Rambong with the right hand. I think that was a knockdown. Oh, maybe just a slip. Maybe just a slip. And that is it for the second round. Oh, my goodness. Ram Bong, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, tough as nails. The fact that he got dropped, not once, but twice in brutal fashion that first round, almost was put away to come back in the second round, only to get the better of Sing Dong Dong. Wow. First round goes to Sing Dong Dong. Second round goes to Rang Bong, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Again, a big shout out to everyone joining us here today. You all are amazing. We got at least two more streams. We might squeeze in the one we plan to do at noon. If not, then we're just for sure going to do LFA and some more Muay Thai, Fairtex Muay Thai later tonight. All right. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. Third and final round, the one to decide it all. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Two minutes and 52 seconds, and Rambong is already going after it here. Aggressive clinch. Oh, and a nice kick on Singla Tom, and he falls to the ground. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds into this third and final round. And Rambong being the aggressor, throwing huge kicks to the leg. Of Sing Dom Thong. Two minutes and 22 seconds. Rambong pressuring Sing Dom Thong into the corner. And the ropes again. Sing Dom Thong just looking at that counter. Body shot by Sing Dom Thong. Left hand by Sing Dom Thong. Sing Dom Thong playing very much the counter game here. In this third and final round. It's got to be more aggressive. Because I believe whoever wins this round is going to win the fight. Knee to the body by Sing Dong Tom. And Rambong coming in. Aggressive here for the clinch. Pushes Sing Dong Tom off of him. They separate themselves. Sing Dong Tom, he's 
I don't know if he's tired, but his speed is compromised here. As Rambong looks like he's got the power and speed advantage late in this fight. One minute and 35 seconds left to remain. One minute, 20 seconds. Inside low kick by Rambong. Ref trying to get them to separate now. They separated on, on their own account earlier. Single Dom gets a warning there. To, he's holding on too long. One minute on the clock here. Final round of this fight. This is it, folks. Rambong. I think he's won this third round. It was one apiece going into this third round. Rambong with a nice right hook. Single Dom, he's just, I think he's just out of gas. He's just too slow right now. He's just too slow. And Rambong. Ram freaking bong, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 35 seconds left on the clock. Walking into clinch again is Sing Nong Tong. I mean, that's not going to win you this fight, brother. That's not going to win you this fight. You have 30 seconds to make a statement. Rambong is going to win this one. Rambong is going to win this one. Despite being dropped twice in the first round, I do think Rambong has done more than enough in the second round, more than enough in the third round to win it. Rambong throwing the heat again. Beautiful. Misses with the left hand and follows up with the body kick. Single Dumb tried to counter with an elbow, but too little, too late, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It. It's all over. Great fight. Great fight. <laughs> Violent first round. One, one of the craziest first rounds. I mean, Single Dumb almost, almost got Rambong out of it. I don't think it was enough for like a 10-8 round by any means. I don't think this is going to be a draw. I think Rambong was doing a lot in that first round before getting dropped. I, I think Rambong wins this. I think he I think he won the second round. I think he won the third round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. I want to hear from you. Rush Hour Fight Club. Cheers to you, bro. Happy International Fight Week. Are you, are you streaming right now too? Buddy, I'm going to... I dropped a like on your video, but I'll drop a comment on it as well. How are you, Rush Hour Fight Club? By the way, folks... Support Rush Hour Fight Club, my brother, my friend, a fellow streamer, a fellow MMA and combat sports YouTuber, a fellow fight companion streamer. Fucking love you, Rush Hour Fight Club. Can't wait to collaborate soon. I know we, we keep saying we're going to do it. I know we're both busy, but it will happen. And once and once we do it, we'll get into a rhythm of it. I cannot wait to bring you on a stream. I can't wait to go on one of your streams. It's going to be so much fun. Folks, if there's any event that I'm not streaming... This is the guy. Holy fuck, Sing Dum Dong just won. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So they gave him the second round and he must have gotten a 10. He must have won the first round. Well, I mean, obviously he won the first round, but maybe he had a 10 8 in the first round. Wow. He did enough in that first round to win it. Fair enough. He do, he he had the tremendous second half of that first round. I don't think he did enough in the second, but hey, I'm no uh, Muay Thai expert. What do you think, Rush Hour Fight Club, since you're here? Do you think that Sing Don Tom should have won that fight? Or do you think Rambong should have, based on the second and third round? But again, guys, if ever I'm not streaming anything, this is the guy you got to go see. Rush Hour Fight Club. He's the man. He's the myth. He's the legend. He's been doing this longer than me. And speaking of, buddy's always uplifted. I love it. Thank you so much, Rush Hour, for the support, buddy. Keep up the good work as always, my guy. You too, man. You too. I'm actually just going to jump on YouTube here and show you some love. Look at that. Look at that. Rush, like, it's it's so cool, man. This community that not only we're building on this channel, but the community that, like, is connecting uh, amongst creators as well. And uh, I, I do like the fight announcer uh, for for one championship. Don't get me. Wait, why is the logo on that side? That's weird. Uh, for one championship, but she's she's got nothing on Lene Hart, man. She's got nothing on Lene Hart. Uh, all right, Rush Hour. As the fighters make their walk. Oh, you are. Okay, Rush Hour is uh, streaming right now. <laughs> all right, Rush Hour. What? I just, uh, I just.
folks in my live chat right now i've literally i'm just a uh, rush hour fight club drop by to say what's up to me i just dropped by to say what's up to him wait should i call dude uh i Uh, he's hitting the bong right now on his stream. Oh, what a beauty. This guy's just ripping fucking bong cokes on his stream. What a crazy motherfucker. I love it. I love it. Oh, I kind of want to call into a show right now. I kind of want to call into a show. Give me one second. I'm going to grab my phone. Oh, this is the collab of the century. Iron Lung J. Right, both fighters are entering the ring right now, folks. All right. Bum, 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 bum. All right. I'm going to call into a show. Rush Hour MMA, he's been supporting us. I'm going to call into a show right now. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. We got no one over here. All right, I'm calling in. I'm calling into a show. I'm calling into a show. Let's see if he answers. Let's see if he answers. Come on. Come on, Rush Hour. Answer the phone. Hey, what's good? You on with Jay at Rush Hour? Rush Hour, it's Isha from City Life. What's up, my man? <laughs> Oh, he should get hear from you, bro. You I, I should have got you on speaker on my channel, so I know this is not much of the big collaboration that we've been hinting. But I was like, oh, dude, he has a call in. I got to call him live on my channel, bro. Lo I love everything that you do. It's so awesome that, like, you know, we're, we each have our like fight companion community. Yet the crossover is real. Fucking love everything you do, brother. And I keep telling my chat too. If I'm never, if I'm, if I'm never on for a stream and you're and you're streaming, like, always go show him some support. Go, go like his channel. And I can't wait to collaborate with you brother had to call in and show you some love my man hey i appreciate it my dude we definitely gonna collapse and the same thing with yours man i like what you do over there because our channels we try to do things that like you know all the other big channels like you know basically won't do and the fact that you're a real fight fan too i mean hey we all gotta stick together because there's clearly not many of us but hey at least we at least when we find each other we gotta we gotta help each other absolutely man like i don't know anyone else who's waking up this early to watch muay thai other than you and me and i'll, I'll be streaming fair text fight at midnight later tonight uh, hope to see you uh there if you're not streaming that one as well hell yeah my dude i like that i like that i'll definitely stop by my, my uh, guy all right i'll let you go man because this fight's about to start but uh everyone on my channel go support rush hour fight club and uh, have a good rest of your stream buddy i'll see you later hell yeah talk to you soon Isha. everybody hey. city life project man look at that look at that Rush Hour Fight Club. He has a he has a phone line too, so call into that uh, if you want to interact with him. That is awesome. All right, but we have another Muay Thai fight to get into here, folks. So let's get into it. Fighters are about to square off here in the center of the ring. Second last fight on the card. Had to had to call into Rush Hour Fight Club and show him some love. We're both simultaneously streaming, but we ain't enemies. We're brothers, and it's awesome to have uh, have both of our fight communities interact here. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. And if you're new to this channel, we do live play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. And here we go, folks. Mung Sap against Sibsan. Two minutes and 41 seconds on the clock here. 
Right hand by Sibsam. Sibsam in the blue corner. Mongsap in the red. Oh, and a nice left hook by Mongsap there. Low kicks there by Sibsan. They're just trading them now. Trading shot for shot, just standing in the pocket. Nice left hand by Sibsan. Checked leg kick by Mongsap. Outside low kick. Both of both them throwing the outside low kicks there. Right hand by Sibsan. Looks like it just grazed the shoulder of Mongsap. Outside low kick, but that was checked again. Mungsap doing a good job of checking the low kicks of Sibsam. Not that one, though. That one was a little high. Good combo there by Sibsam, but nothing went through. Now he's kicking a little higher. Good combo there by Sibsam. Two to the head, one to the body. Phony watching the weigh-ins. All good, brother. All good. 144.5 Volk first. Atta boy. Atta boy. Sibsam, again, doing a very good job. Or sorry, Mungsap doing a very good job of checking the leg kicks of Sibsam. They each trade blows there. Just standing in the pocket throwing. No clinching yet, which is awesome. One minute left in the first round. Right hand there by Sibsan. Pantoja 125. Thanks for the updates, man. I appreciate it. Who do you think wins Pantoja Moreno? Every time I pick against Moreno, he wins. So, like, I'm picking him to win this one. But uh, Pantoja is no joke. 35 seconds left in the first round. And Pantoja's beat him twice. However, Moreno hadn't leveled up then. 25 seconds left on the clock here. Very, very close round. Ooh, and a nice right hand there by Sibsan. I'm giving the edge to Sibsan thus far just because he checked more of those leg kicks that Mungsap threw on him. And I feel like they each landed some hard shots. Oh, and just when I say that, Mungsap with the combos to the body and head. I'm picking the cooler name, Pantoja. 145, Yair. The championship fight is gonna go down. I was hoping to have a better word. <laughs> is slated to go down is official. There we go. The, the championship fight is official. Both of them made weight. There you go. There you go. Man, some nice combos here by Sibsan. Um, that's who I got winning this first round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Moreno makes weight as well. Moreno never really has a problem making weight, eh? Both official. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm never worried about Moreno making weight. I know Figueredo, he cut a lot. And apparently Figueredo's fighting, oh my god, Dominic Cruz? At 135? Oh my goodness. Poor Dominic. Getting thrown to the wolves again. <laughs> Well, round two. Let's get it all. Again, close first round. I'm giving the edge to Sibsan. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock here. And Sibsan, or sorry, um, I'm giving the first round to Mungsap. My apologies for mixing up the two. Uh, Sibsam in the blue corner here, going ham with the combos here. Not a lot of them are getting through on the face. Not a lot of strikes getting through to the face, but a lot of body shots are getting through. And again, my apologies, folks. I got the names mixed up just moments ago between the rounds. I had Mung Sap winning the first round. I think he checked a lot of Sibsan's leg kicks and he landed the harder shots in that first round. So far, though, in the second round, Sibsan in the blue corner again is coming out hot. Beautiful combos to the body and the leg. Mung Sap, though, he counters right back at him. I love how these guys are just standing in the pocket throwing. Very little clinch work so far. And a nice short elbow there by Sibsan. And just when I say little clinch work, they do clinch, but they're very active in this clinch, throwing knees and elbows. Jason going to get smashed at 135. Well, I mean, the UFC's throwing him, up a, throwing him a layup with an aging Dominic Cruz. Not to say Dominic Cruz doesn't have dog left in him. I mean, he was beating Cheeto before Cheeto sent him to the Shadow Realm, but... Uh, 
I'm interested to see what Figgy does at 135 because he's a big, big 125er. 186 Duplessis, 205 Crute. That's going to be good. One minute and 31 seconds left in the second round. I, I would love nothing more than for Cruz to beat him and then retire. Retire after beating like the former champ. You know, at 125, but still. Figueredo. I'm interested to see if his gas tank is any better because he fucking drains himself to get to 125, right? I'm interested to see, though, what his power looks like and see if it fades or if it stays the same without him having to cut weight. Beautiful shots there by Monksep and Sibsan. Sibsan was holding the leg of Monksep, just throwing shots to his body. And Monksep was like, fine, you're going to throw shots to my body? I'm going to counter and hit you in the face. Whitaker, 185. So that fight is going down too. I can't believe Whitaker used to fight at 170. They clinch, knees to the body. Active clinch here. 35 seconds left. Dude, that first round, I don't think they clinched once. 34 seconds. Front kick by Sibsen. Right to the body. Monksap. Slowing down a little bit here. Slowing down a little bit here. 26 seconds left in the second round. Oh, nice short elbow. And a few hooks there by Monksap. Monksap landed some beautiful shots there in the pocket. Monksap going for a knee. High kick by Monksap. Body kick by Monksap. Another body kick by Monksap. Final 10 seconds left in this round and a throw down by Sibsan. Back up to their feet. Body, they each exchange a body kick and a nice right hand right at the bell by Sibsan to another close round. Another insanely close round by these absolute studs, man. These guys are crushing it. What a tremendous fight. What a tremendous fight. For the most part, just standing there upright in the pocket and just throwing shots. Just throwing shots back and forth. Cannot ask for anything more. Wow, that's awesome. Couple short elbows. So I got Monksab winning the first round. Uh, close. I'll give the Sib I'll give the second round to Sibsan. He landed he landed more volume and I think more powerful and more significant strikes in this in that second round. That first round definitely both of them didn't land too too much. Mungsap shots did get through and Mungsap checked so many of Sibsan's leg kicks in that first round. So I got a round a piece going in to the third. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat who you think is going to win this one. Or who is up so far in this one? Let's get it all! And so far, combos to the body by Sibsan. Monksap keeps moving forward. There lands a right short elbow, a left hand, but he takes a high kick from Sibsan. Again, Monksap in the red corner, Sibsan in the blue. And beautiful double left hook by Monksap. Monksap with a knee to the body. They're just throwing in the corner, they're just throwing in the pocket here. Clinching, no thanks. I'd rather just throw another left hook by Monksap. And Sibsan goes, come on, come on. Short left elbow by Sibsen. These guys are just going to war. And Mungsap throwing Sibsen to the ground and tried to hit him with a kick on the way down. What an awesome fight. What an awesome fight. Two minutes and 12 seconds on the clock here. Third round. Two minutes. Ref separates them. A one-two by Sibsen. A left hook by Mungsap. Mungsap's employing that left hook in this round and it's landing all day, every day, baby. One minute and 51 seconds. Pressuring Sibsen into the corner is Mungsap. He's eaten some short elbows, though. They clinch, and another right elbow by Sibsen. Mungsap's going to be careful of those elbows. He's going to get caught, cut here. Body kick by Sibsen. Sibsen's back up against the ropes. Mungsap landed a beautiful combo, but slipped with the high kick and fell to the ground. One minute and 28 seconds. Spinning elbow attempt by Mungsap. Now he throws a spinning heel kick. Mungsap starting to gas a little bit. You can see Sibsan looks like he has a little bit more gas left in the tank, but Mungsap hits hard, man. One minute and 16 seconds in this third and final round. Straight left jab by Sibsan. Double straight left. Straight, double straight left jab followed by a body kick. Body shots by, Mung, er, by Sibsan. Mungsap goes, come on. Final minute, folks. Final minute. High kick attempt by Mungsap again. Counter right by Sibsen. 
They're fighting hands right now. Body shot by Sibsen. 45 seconds and a good... Honestly, a good hook by both those guys. Sibsen read the spinning move by Mung Sab. Mung Sab trying to employ spinning back fist. Did not land. 186 for Bo Nickel. He's a big boy, eh? 30 seconds on the clock. That was a very Canadian statement. He's a big boy, eh? Just a big hoser there, eh? Hoser there, eh, bud? 15 seconds left in the third. High gig 10 by Sibsen. Monksap continues to move forward. Man, this, this fight is so hard to score. Every round could go either way. Every, I have no idea who's going to win this one. And that is it for the fight. Look at it, get it, shit! Get it, all over! What a great fight. What a great fight. Both of these guys just stood there in the motherfucking pocket and just banged it out. I think they clinched, what, three or four times that entire fight? Dude, these guys are fucking warriors, man. Yeah, that was too Canadian. <laughs> oh... I mean, I'm from the West Coast of Canada, right? So we don't have as thick of accents as like the Newfies. Or obviously those from Quebec. I actually say Toronto, not Toronto, like those in Ontario. All right, guys, whoever watched that fight, please let me know who you think won the fight. I had Monk Sap winning the first round. I had Sibson winning the second round. I have no idea who won that third round. It was so back and forth. I imagine this is going to be a split decision. We are listening in for the decision. Let's see if it's split or if it's unanimous. Okay, it's going to be a split decision. Hey, Sibsen wins split decision, so I'm guessing he won that third round. I think it was a round apiece going into that third round. Sibsen wins the unanimous decision, or sorry, the split decision. You know what? It's, this one, like I said, could go either way. This one, like I said, could go either way. Great fight. No finish in that one. No blood. Regardless, it was a great fight. Now, though, we have our main event of the evening. Main event in the morning to us here in North America. Fabio Reyes against Pong Siri. Reyes is only 26 years old, ladies and gentlemen. Pong Siri, 32. Pong Siri, Pong Siri is on a two-fight win streak right now in the promotion. Both unanimous decisions. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can find any more info here on... See if we got any, like... Uh, uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. What the heck just happened there? I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and then we'll see if we got any more info on this guy. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live here. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We don't just do one championship. We do as many fight promotions, as many fight events as we can. We are fight junkies here. We are combat sports junkies here. We are martial arts junkies here, ladies and gentlemen. And we try to squeeze in as many of these fight companions every weekend as we can. So appreciate you all. If you dig my vibe, if you dig the community, I know everyone's working right now, but man, when we started off this stream, I couldn't even keep up with the comments. So appreciate every single one of you. And a big shout out also to Rush Hour Fight Club. Again, we're going to be doing some collaborations soon. I called into a show on this stream as well and said, what's up? Uh, he does have a call in number so you can interact with him as well. And uh, yeah, just big shout out to uh, to Rush Hour Fight Club. The guy's an absolute beauty. And though we do the same thing, though we're streaming at the same time, some might think it's competition. Man, we're a, we're a community here. We we want to uplift each other. So go subscribe to his channel. And uh, and he was so kind to tell his subscribers to come over and support us. Last fight, let's go. Friday, hi day. Uh, UFC fighters weighing in main event and co-main event official. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Robert has sealed his fate. He's getting checked tomorrow. I... 
it's just funny how you've turned on Robert Whitaker because of his fans, even though you've never followed Drickus on at, at EFC, right? I'm I'm gonna go out of my way to guess that you didn't even follow Drickus when he was a champion in EFC. <laughs> but hey, I, I dig it. I dig it. I I, I dig the uh, the contrarian uh, perspective, the contrarian stance. Everybody loves Whitaker. Fuck Whitaker. I'm going with DDP, the African Prince. Though I do have a question for you, JL. Though, if DDP wins, who are you rooting for? DDP or Israel Desanya, the true African or the Chinese man? That's what I want to know. And and if that happens, the UFC. I mean, we're gonna bill it at that. China versus Africa. Israel Desanya, Drikus Duplessis. Oh, it's because of Bilal. Man, you, you, Bilal's got you wrapped around his finger, man. No, Bilal's hopping up the African Prince. I'm going with the knowledgeable guy. Interesting. Interesting, but I'm not surprised. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. So you're going to turn on Izzy, that means. Wow. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. If Drickus wins... Because Bilal backs Drickus, JL is going to abandon his fandom for Izzy. I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you, JL. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited everyone made weight, though, in all seriousness, buddy. I'm excited everyone made weight and that these fights are, are official. If you all didn't finish Whitaker, Drickus is going to have a hard time, but it is a possibility. One in a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. There's always a chance. There's always a chance. What do you mean? Well, I mean... If Drickus wins, he's going to fight Izzy. And then you're going to have to turn on Izzy because Bilal's not back in Izzy. Bilal's back in DDP. And if you're going with everything Bilal says as, as it's gospel, then you are no longer an Izzy fan, right? I mean, I'm just trying to follow your logic, brother. I'm just trying to follow your logic. What is up, Gravedigger Jones? Good to see you, my man. Gravedigger Jones, one of our exclusive members, one of our long-time subscribers and members that has nothing to do with the jail i'm following your logic buddy your logic dictates who Bilal backs and hypes is who you are going to 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 support Bilal's cool with this he doesn't mean he's hyping him like he is ddp and th this is you this I'm, I'm going off your words your logic brother i'm not making anything up here <laughs> i'm just trying to understand i'm just trying to understand Trying to, trying to put myself in your shoes. Empathize. But that's not what you're saying. That's not what you're saying. Now that's what you're saying. But okay, that so that's another left turn. But I got you. I got you. So who would you root for? In To, to, to come full circle, back to the original question. Who would you root for? Uh, Drinkus Duplessis or Israel Adesanya? If they, if they end up fighting. Because everything he says is gospel to you. That's what I. That's what that was the. That's what that's what the reference was. Israel all day. Okay, okay, got you. Hey, I'm glad you ain't jumping jumping ship. Then that that's I respect that. I respect that. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Right, main event of the evening next here, folks. Um, who do you got for this one, JL? Do you got Pong Siri? You got Fabio Reyes. All right, the traditional. Muay Thai dance. Fuck, I forget the name of it, folks, and I feel like a terrible fan now. What's the name of the ritual? I'm gonna look it up quick here. Um, but, but why crew? Is that what it's called? Why crew? Why crew rem why? So both the fighters performing their why crew rem why right now. I'm not a bandwagon fan like some people with Bo. Oh, I know. I'm I'm I, I do I do agree that there's a lot of Bo Nickel um fanboys, but I think something you overlook too is there's a lot of NCAA wrestling fans who are casuals in MMA who are coming over to support their boy too. Gravedigger Jones, yeah, Pong Siri. <laughs> Gravedigger Jones, how was your week, man? How was your 4th of July weekend last week? Uh, we haven't talked much. I mean, a little bit on the member stream, but uh, how are you doing, buddy? Shane just beat uh, Final Fantasy. Have you already beat uh, the new one? Shane said he put 100 hours into it. 
All right. Fabio Reyes. Can't find like a Wikipedia page on him, so I can't find his full record, but we'll see it here in just a moment. He's on two-fight win streak in the promotion as well. He's finished his last two fights, though. But anyways, let's check out the tail of the tape here. Gravedigger Jones going for Pong Siri. And he's turning out a PK Senja. <clears throat> excuse me, Senja Jim. 158 wins, 37 losses for Pong Siri. 158 wins, 37 losses. Pong Siri, though, in his last two fights, has not put his opponent away. Although he made Le Siri look human. <laughs> Twenty-two wins, six losses for Fabio. I, I disagree, JL. Ben Askren was arguably the best wrestler in mixed martial arts. Uh, he was the, I believe, he was the Bellator champ and the one championship uh, ch champion before the UFC traded for him, where he was well past his prime. Now, I'm not gonna argue and say Ben Askren is like one of the greatest fighters ever. No, but Matt Hughes, one of the best wrestlers turned fighters. I mean, shoot, man, your boy. I mean, not NCAA wrestler because he's not as good as some of the NCAA wrestlers, but your boy too. So I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Jorge did humble him though. I will agree with that. And I actually used your word, the forbidden word. The word that is used so loosely, but it's now your trademark. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Last fight of the card, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let me know your predictions in the live chat. JL, you weren't even watching Bellator back then, so you didn't even know the type of guys he beat. And again, just hating on Askren to prove a point about Bo Nickel, that's not a good argument. I'm sorry. Blah over NCAA. Again, like, what are you arguing? Okay, again. You just love taking away from the fights, don't you? Which is fine. And I, you know, I, I engage, so it's on me. I just, I just don't want to ignore you, right? But this is the main event. Why are we, why are. Why are we having this conversation? You know what I mean? You hate Bo Nickel. I get it. That's fine. We talked about it for one fucking hour last night, man. Like, you really want to talk about it again? Like, I'm sorry. I'm not going to. One minute and 50 seconds left in the first round. Reyes. Trying to throw some uppercuts here. Nice body shot by Reyes on Pong Siri. Pong Siri's tough as nails, though. He can take a lot of shots here. Doesn't necessarily have the knockout power. Hasn't, I mean, he does have knockout powers, 150 plus wins in his career. But as of late, I, hasn't, I haven't seen him utilize that. He hasn't rocked his opponents too, too much. Very good at winning decisions. Very good at staying in the war. Reyes doing a good job on the back foot here with some body shots. I'll get back to your comments here in a sec. And again, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, JL, but like, I really don't know if you're trolling me or just like, or just trying to, you know, like we're, we're talking about one topic and then you bring up a whole other topic and try to twist it into the argument. Like, I, 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 I'm just confused sometimes, that's all. And half the time I'm convinced you're trolling me. Half the time I'm just like, he didn't watch any of these fights. Half the time I really don't know. Uh, what the uh, intention is. But I'm, I'm really trying not to be disrespectful. So I hope I don't come across that way. 33 seconds left in the first round. Body shot by Reyes. Outside low kick by Pong Siri. Like to say wrestlers won't, like don't do anything in MMA. Like that's a slap in the face of the legend that is like Matt Hughes, right? Daniel Cormier. NCAA and Olympic wrestler. Was he a chump? Left hand by Reyes. We talked about this all night last night. Bonico has four wins. Like, he's not the best MMA fighter yet. Everyone agrees with you, brother. Everyone agrees with you. End of the first round. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Blown vote could be Bellator and one champs, but they are in the big leagues. I I mean, Bilal, probably not, but Volk, yes. Bilal definitely would be, you know, fighting for the title and probably could win the title. Um, would he dominate like Volk would in those promotions? I don't know. I think I think in Bellator, Bilal probably could because they're... 
I mean, they got Eblin. He's is he middleweight or uh, welterweight? If Eblin was in the UFC, he would be champion. The guy's a fucking unbelievable. In in so in Bellator, I'll say yeah, Bilal. In one, I'd I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it with one rules. Bilal versus NCAA fight me. If it was just wrestling, the NCAA wrestlers would probably beat him. If it was fighting, if you threw a NCAA, I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I'm going to. I'm I'm wasting time I'm taking away from the fight to say this. If an NCAA wrestler with no striking right off the mats went to fight Bilal in MMA, of course Bilal would win, brother. That's not rocket appliances. Uh, cook some barbecue and meet up with my folks. Uh, right now, I'm confronting myself in Final Fantasy. That's awesome, buddy. Two minutes and 36 seconds on the clock here in this second round. Isn't Superlek? fighting no uh next weekend buddy next weekend next weekend on the fight night taking the fight after fighting just a few weeks ago uh ben was a beast in his prime jorge got lucky if the fight ever happened again bo would f- or ben would finish him i mean ben Askren was long in the tooth at that point i mean robbie lawler should have won that fight let's be honest but uh no i mean i, I don't want to disrespect Ben Askren for what he did in, in Bellator and one championship. He was one of the best fighters outside of the UFC. And we were all, we all wanted to see him fight GSP. Dude, Reyes is huge. One minute, 54 seconds. Pong Siri gave him a little bit of trouble there in the opening frames of the first round or sorry, opening frames of this second round. Jorge got lucky. It was beautiful. It, hey, that lucky shot got him a tremendous contract extension and made him the millionaire that he is now, which is cool to see. Now, I just love talking about different topics. No, I dig it. I dig it. But <laughs> I don't know why we're opening up the can of worms that I thought we closed last night. <laughs> Upong Siri, is he cut? Is he cut above his right eye? No, maybe just a welt. Oh, Upong Siri caught the leg kick of Reyes and Punch him and land a few punches to the face. Reyes switches his stance. Beautiful combo there by Reyes. Switching his stance and going for the body shot. Could would have should. It doesn't matter. I just like Jorge, but a five-second knockout speaks for itself. It was tremendous. and I'm, I'm not taking anything away from Jorge there. Tremendous knockout. That was a big no-no on Ben Askren shooting for that right off the bat. But uh, no, the Ben Askren in one in Bellator was, like I said, he was the best welterweight outside of the UFC at that time. Can you put filters on words in your stream? You should ban the word below so you don't have to listen to the constant trolling. <laughs> 30 seconds. I wouldn't do that to JL. As much as sometimes I rip my hair out with the Bilal conversations, JL, at least he's passionate. At least he engages in conversations. At least he supports the channel. And uh, and I don't mind having him here. I, I, I don't mind having JL here at all. That's it for the second round. It's uh it's just Again, I don't want to say funny because that comes across as disrespectful. It's just it's just a very unique hill to die on, Bilal Muhammad. But uh, respect the commitment to the to the fighter, to the fandom, and if it is trolling, to the bit. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? MacLev is choking Robert again, saying he's in phenomenal shape. Like, did he? Okay, well, again, Jail, are you are you blowing this out of context again? Are you? Did did Mac Life say that Drickus is out of shape? Is that is that what he said? Or are you just or are you just assuming that that's what he means when he's uh, praising Whitaker? I will die on the hill. Oh, I know, and that's why I respect it. That's why I respect it. All right, third and final round. We're gonna focus in on the fight, guys. Final round of the card. Final round of the fight. Final round of one Friday fights 24 in this stream. And again, big shout out to everyone who's joined us throughout this stream. We're going to give live play by play commentary reaction interaction. We'll get back to your guys' comments right after this round. So keep them coming. Keep them coming. Let's get it all. Two minutes and 41 seconds.
So? That's what I asked. So what? Why does that bother you? <laughs> if you think that's disrespect, it's not. It's just showing respect to one guy, not the other. Or showing extra respect to one guy, not the other. Or just highlighting one guy and not the other. Like it, it, I don't think... I personally don't read that as disrespect. But uh, to each their own. To each their own. Two minutes and ten seconds on the clock here. Body shot there by Reyes. Oh, another body kick by Reyes. I mean, this is what Pong Siri does, man. He drags you into the trenches. He'll go the distance. He'll take some big shots to dish them. He'll throw those body kicks from hell. Reyes, though, hasn't slowed down. Despite, you know, carrying a lot more muscle than Pong Siri, you'd think he might gas easier, but no, he is massive, and he still looks, he looks like he's got a lot of gas left in the tank. Yeah, Drekus is he's in the worst shape I've ever seen, guys. Flabby butt. I'm kidding. Drekus is always in phenomenal shape. One minute and 17 seconds on the clock. High kick! Pong Siri just landed a high kick on Riss. Riss is wobbling. Riss. Nose is bleeding. This official foul one. This official allowing wrist continues absolutely insane. 55 seconds left on the clock. If if this was a close fight going into this third round, I mean, or throughout this third round, it isn't anymore. Reyes can barely stand. He got shin kicked right in the nose, man, and it dropped him. I cannot believe. I guess he did withstand the eight count, but my goodness, and Reyes just moving forward, throwing whatever he can here. He's still compromised, but at this point, you got to do whatever you can to win the fight. He landed a nice left punk Siri, landed a short elbow punk Siri, walking forward. 26 sec seconds left. Punk Siri knows he's probably got this one in the bag. Reyes, you can see he's totally compromised. All that technique, all that crisp, hard shots, I mean... He looks wobbly still. He looks wobbly still. He's moving forward, but he's land. He's throwing muffin shots. What a kick by Pong Siri. Final 10 seconds of this fight. Left jab. Nice left hand by Reyes. And that is it. Ah, that is it. it is all over. What a third round. Pong Siri, stand the fuck up. I imagine Pong Siri won this one. I imagine Pong Siri won this one. Man, I admit, uh, the little things get under my skin. Is that disrespect towards the African? Nope, nope, no disrespect. And you know, I, what I do love, JL, I love how you're calling him the African prince. I, I love that. It's so funny. So I, I do like that. And you know what? Like, I, re I respect, you know, not, not everyone's rooting for, for Drickus in this one. So I, I dig that. I dig that. Like, we have some people in the chat here who are like, yeah, you know what? I'll go for Duplessis. And an another thing, and I do like how you just don't hate on Whitaker. You respect Whitaker. You just, you know, don't like the fans. But again, I, uh, I, hope, I hope that you don't let the, the comments and things like that get you too fired up going into the fight week, brother. Because you don't, you don't want that shit to ruin it for you, right? Pong Siri wins unanimous decision, and why wouldn't he? How wouldn't? How could he not win this fight? Given he had an unbelievable head kick at the end, and you can see Fabio Reyes, he's he's disappointed in himself, but he gives a thumbs up and a good display of respect to Pong Siri. Man, what a good! I mean, Pong Siri goes the distance again. He's three in a row in one championship, going the distance. But oh my goodness! Oh my god! He almost finished this one. He almost finished this one. What a great showing by Pong Siri. Let's listen in to the interview. Holy shit, what a head kick. Can't believe he survived. Dude, it hit him square in the nose. All right, so uh, Pong Siri was just asked, what was going through your mind when you got that knockdown? Look, UFC 287, 288 had me wanting to do something Strickland would do. Oh! I mean, I say it all the time. Even though we disagree on stuff, I respect the passion, brother. I respect sports fans who have as much passion as you, man. And that's why, that's why we're friends. I can call you my friend, right? 
And you're Canadian, so you just get bonus points. So Pong Siryu was asked, do you think this is the end of the rivalry between you and Fabio? What a fucking fight. Indeed, brother. And you know, like, not as many knockouts as we regularly see. But, uh, but, but good fights around those knockouts. And, oh, Pong Siryu, what a beauty. He's like, I'll have a rematch with this guy any fucking day. Love it. Great win by Pong Siri. I love that too. He's like, if this guy wants a rematch, we'll, I'll fight him anytime, any day, any place. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Wow. Are there, is the weigh-in show still on, guys, or did it wrap up? Any drama from the UFC weigh-in show? Before we wrap up here, before I give you all a shout-out, uh, let me know. Is there anything? Uh, is there anything juicy coming out of the weigh-ins? Anybody of note miss weight? Anybody miss weight at all? Let me know. And while you guys let me know. Oh, and also let me know what your favorite fight on this card here today was. Uh, Robert looked pretty small and skinny. African Prince looks big and not drained at all. Doesn't cut as much weight as Robert does. Yeah, Robert cuts a lot. Of weight. He's a thick boy. I mean, Robert has said that he's probably going to move up to light heavyweight soon. He, uh, he obviously wants one more chance at Izzy, but if he doesn't get that title shot, he might move up. I can't believe Robert, and I guess he was younger at the time, but I, I still can't believe that he used to make welterweight. And again, I, I like Robert. I mean, his personality is awesome, and he's just a good guy, so I would probably be a fan of him anyways, but I'd like him because his style, to me anyways, is the closest style uh, to George St. Pierre. or the clo I shouldn't even say style because a lot of people have that style. The closest fighter, his movements, his footwork, his takedowns, his takedown defense, his jab. You know what I mean? It, it, it reminds me a lot of GSP, um, which is probably why I, I like him. Uh, I, nobody says that. No, but nobody says that, JL, because he's not. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. If anything, everyone says... And again... Are, JL, trolls in the comments don't count as people say. Like, like, cite real sources, brother. Those are the ones that matter. The idiots, the trolls don't matter. Their opinion don't matter. And everything they say is usually wrong. So, no, people don't say that. And I mean, real people who watch the sport, real analysts, real fans of the sport do not say that. Because he isn't a weight bully. He is at his perfect weight. You know what I mean? He actually had to like build up a little bit to get up to 205. So no one's saying he's a weight bully. Jalen Turner, on the other hand, Jalen Turner could fight two weight classes up. Now, if you say people say he's a weight bully, I literally heard two uh, two respected MMA YouTubers, I think Mexican uh, MMA and fuck, who's I think it was even James Lynch. Now James Lynch didn't say weight bully. I don't want to. Um, you know, put words in his mouth, but you know, they, they all talked about how like this guy, this guy cuts a lot of weight to get to, to the division or to get down to his respected division. And, uh, and that I can see, but no, no one, no one's saying is he's a weight bully, dude. No one said that again, idiot trolls might say, I don't, I don't, I don't hold any of those with any weight. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but anyways, uh, so I disagree on that one. But uh, Jalen Turner, I will say, he he's one. Uh, don't think I forgot about Gordon. He doesn't cut a lot. No, Gordon doesn't cut a lot either. He's he's perfect for his weight class as well. If anything, Gordon could probably drop a, a weight class too, right? He probably could fight at 145, um, I imagine. I hope he's doing okay too. He's, is he healing up okay? You you follow Gordon a lot more than than I do. I know he was, he's pretty banged up and obviously had to pull out of his last fight. So I hope he's doing okay. Um, I hope, I hope honestly, we don't see him fight until like close to until winter. Let's give this guy some time to, uh, to heal up. He was pretty active this year and he got banged up a few times. What's up, Habib? It's good to see you, buddy. I just came by to say hi. Well, we're about to end the stream. So it's great that you came by to say hi. I appreciate you as always. I appreciate JL as well. One of our exclusive members, JL goes out of his way, goes above and beyond to support this channel. And I just cannot say thank you enough, JL. Um, and I said, we, we have our disagreements. We go at it in the chat, but I but I do respect the passion and I, and I do thank you very much for joining. Uh, LFA later. 
LFA is, we will be streaming LFA later. And then at midnight, uh, we Eastern time, we will be uh, streaming Fair Text Muay Thai. Uh, wait, bully, so stupid. If you weigh in at the contract of weight, what's the problem? No, fair enough. And I, I've never really used that term to be perfectly honest. I was just giving an example um, how like if we're going to throw the term around, I would say Jalen Turner fits that mold more than like an Israel Adesanya, for example. But West Coast, I'm more... I'm more on your side in that if you cut a lot of weight, you're probably going to be at 80% the next day. Like, and I'm talking like a lot of weight, like, you know, shredding 30, 40 pounds off your walk around weight throughout a camp. And then, you know, an extra 10 during the, the, the weight cut itself. If you make the weight, you make the weight that that is your weight. 100%. I mean, look at George St. Pierre. He was exactly the weight that he was like, George St. Pierre didn't cut a lot of weight, right? The guy's been like, cut and you know it was a three four five percent body fat his fucking whole life it seems like um yeah he fought bigger guys he fought bigger guys um shoot i would say michael bisbing too he fought bigger bigger guys at his weight class too back in the day so no i'm more in your camp on that west coast for sure uh cannot wait to be at ufc 290 stream on saturday See you later, brother. Thank you for the stream. Peace. I'm out. Thank you, as always, for joining, Diego. I appreciate you. Diego's here every single time as well. And Diego, I know it's been a while since I asked. I hope uh, your leg is all healed now. I know a few months ago you had that really bad accident. And guys, Diego got in a car accident, broke his leg, and was on was, was in the hospital in the live chat messaging us watching the fights like if this guy is not committed to this channel in the fight game i don't know who is diego i hope you're healing up all right buddy and thank you so much for all the support that you show this channel west coast thank you so much for the support too buddy i really appreciate you uh can't wait to see you later on more streams I and mean, this stream's opening up the weekend of streams look we're a little late uh, i was i was hoping one championship would end a little sooner we're a little late so i don't know if we're gonna be able to do this next stream here uh let me just check it out I'm I'm literally just doing a little research on the fly. I mean, it is it is going down right now. GFC 22 is going down right now. Um, I you know what I'll do? I suggest you watch it here. It is live on YouTube. Here is the link towards it. I don't think we'll have enough time to stream it. Just because I have to set up the stream, I probably should have did it last night. So my apologies. So we're officially gonna we're gonna cancel the Georgian one, but. I did subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are going to keep tabs on it. And maybe for their 23rd event, we will fire that up. So my apologies for skipping one of the streams that I did put on the schedule. But we'll be back for LFA. And we will be back for Fairtex fighting later this evening. You know, to bring in the morning. But two more fight companions here today. And we will do a member stream as well. I will be dropping the predictions video. I'm going to use the time that we were going to stream GFC 22. And I'm going to use that time to finish editing my predictions video. Uh, hope you're good, Diego. Thank you. Thank you, brother. A shout out to West coast. Shout out to JL, one of our exclusive members. Again, thank you so much as always for the support. JL, you're a goddamn beauty. Thank you, Gravedigger Jones, one of our exclusive members and longtime su subscribers as well. Foul One, thank you so much, Foul One, for joining. Foul One's an exclusive member. Foul One's been supporting this channel for a good few months now and uh, has been pretty much on every stream, so I appreciate you. Uh, shout out to Phony Turgeson. Shout out to Phony Turgeson for all the support you show on this channel too, buddy. Really appreciate you. Shout out to Rush Hour Fight Club. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much for everything you do on the uh, everything you do to support this channel as well. Everyone, if, if I'm not streaming, go support Rush Hour Fight Club. He does great work. And he has a phone line, so you can straight up call in. Uh, Andrew B, shout out to you, Andrew B. Thank you so much. TRP Z, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Mr. Grant Gregory, who, guys, stay tuned. Later tonight, before LFA, Mr. Grant Gregory and I are going to be collaborating on his channel, and it's going to be a regular thing moving forward. Thanks so much for the support, Mr. Grant Gregory. Cripp Crippled Ham, it's good to see you, Crippled Ham. Like, come on. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Blood vs. Crips episode of South Park? Like, come on. I love Jimmy. Um, Thidges! Thank you so much, Thidges, for joining. I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Diego, as always, buddy, thank you so much. And I mean, Diego, West Coast, I mean, all you guys have been throughout the, have been in and out of this stream all morning, so I cannot thank you guys enough for the support. And thank you, West Coast, also for uh, checking out some of the other videos that we post on the channel, buddy. Can't Can't say thank you enough for that. Really appreciate it. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Uh, News Affiliate Pro, one of our newer 
subscribers here on the channel. Guy used to compete in jujitsu. He is a coach now. We had a great conversation earlier in the stream. I want to give a big shout out to him. Jay Herbo, one of the longtime supporters of this channel as well. Thanks so much, Jay Herbo, for everything you do to support the channel. Benjamin, my man. The guy, the man, the myth, the legend, comment of the night king. Benjamin, one of our exclusive members as well. Thank you so much for the support, Benjamin. As always, Pinche Walter. What's going on, Walter? Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you as well. Longtime supporter of this channel. Hockey from home was here as well today. Thanks so much, Hockey from home, for all the support you show this channel as well. I think... Oh, Hernan. Shout out to Hernan. Thank you so much, Hernan, for joining. I appreciate you. Zoomer loyalist... The, lo the most loyal of all the Zoomers. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Thank you so much for being an exclusive member as well. Dun, 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 dun. I think that was... Oh, Flods. Flods came in with multiple languages. I absolutely love it. Came in with the Thai. Was addressing Mr. Grant Gregory. Then was like, oh shit, you guys don't speak Thai. Maybe a little Chinese... No, I don't speak Chinese either. All right, have a little, have a little translated to English. Absolutely love it. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you so much for joining. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. who else joined this? Month? I feel like I'm missing someone. Foul one with a different color profile. Blue. Now he's green. Zionist. That's right. Zionist. One of our one championship loyalists. Not as loyal as Zoomer, but the loyalist nonetheless. We're going to see him again uh, next week for a fight night. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Oh, and last but not least, tap in fifth like and still and new. Arthur, thank you so much for joining, Arthur. You're an absolute beauty. I appreciate you. Uh, JL, you're not joining tonight, buddy? You're not joining tonight. We got a few more streams tonight. If you're around tonight, if you're around Saturday morning, and if you're around Sunday night, I might see you. If not, have a great weekend, buddy. Cheers to you. Cheers and some coffee. Um, <laughs> African Prince, stand up, ladies and gentlemen. We all we all want to see China versus Africa, Israel de Sonia versus Drikis Duplessis <laughs> for the memes alone. And last but not least. Khabib Nurmagomedov, the man, the myth, the legend, the Burger King himself. Thanks so much for joining and for supporting the channel since well before 1,000 subs as well. Uh, yo, not trying to rile you up, but UFC 290 the next day? Uh, yeah, well, we, we will be streaming a little bit of UFC 290 tomorrow. I, I got tickets to go see the band OAR in the evening, so I am going to cut that stream short whenever we have to go. Whenever we have to go, whenever the Uber arrives, then, you know, I'm going to go downtown and I'm gonna go to the, the venue. Um, but uh, that's the only, I think, Saturday in the near future where I have any, uh, where I have anything that could compromise the stream schedule. But definitely making up for it with a bunch of streams today. We're going to be streaming PFL in the morning tomorrow. If I can find a fucking stream for it, because the zone's not broadcasting in the States, but we'll find a stream for it. And then uh, Sunday. But check out the community tab for all the scheduled uh fight companions again i'm, I'm literally removing the georgian one right now just because we just don't have enough time i got like it takes me about half an hour to set it up um wasn't able to do so last night or this morning so we're gonna go right to lfa so streams for today LFA 162 this evening. Fairtex fights at 11 p.m. Eastern. You can find that on YouTube tomorrow. PFL Europe, a little bit of UFC. And then Sunday, JCK, the finals. If it is on Fight Pass, we will watch it. Sometimes they promote it and then don't show it. Um, in the meantime, we're going to do a member stream later this afternoon as well as I will fin or and I will finish editing my predictions video and make sure that that is up on the channel. Oh, shucks. Short stream. Yeah, short stream. Just because, like I said, I, my, my buddy got us tickets to go see the, a re, you know, a really awesome band, OAR, and uh, I can't say no. I haven't actually, since I've lived in Minnesota, and I'm a big music guy, I have not gone to the Armory, one of the legendary venues out here, and I haven't even gone to a music show. I've gone to more live, I've gone to more hockey games than than music shows uh, since, since moving here, but it is the state of hockey, so that is, uh, I mean, that that's, that was predicted. 
Um, but again, thank you everyone for joining. I gave everyone a shout out in the live chat. We do that at the end of every stream. Join us. If you're a member for the member stream later today, you'll see it pop up on the channel soon. Check out our UFC predictions video when it's posted. Join us for LFA and Fairtex fights. We have two more fight companions later tonight. And last but not least, we've posted three new videos since I've talked to you guys on Tuesday. Kyle posted his full show from, uh, fuck, what was the name of the concert again? I think it's Superior Farm Concert Show. Kyle posted his whole set to the channel, so go check that. I'll just have it playing in the background while you're doing your stuff, while you're watching your fights today. And I also posted a uh, fight reaction video to the PFL 6 event because we had some gnarly knockouts on that event. And then I also posted a clip from our member stream on Wednesday talking about Luke Rockhold and free agency. I will miss Robbie Lawler so much. Yes, me too. Me too. What an absolute legend. We'll definitely talk about him uh, in just like a separate video probably when he retires. Um, the Roy McDonald fight and him, you know, went to the Hall of Fame. Shit, we should just have a stream where we just sit here and watch the Roy McDonald fight together because that one was awesome, number two. But anyways, we'll get back to the live chat. We'll get back to MMA talk live with you guys tonight on the LFA stream and the Fairtex fight stream. If you want to join our... Uh, Discord group, join the community, go go above and beyond to support the channel. You can become a member. We do member streams every week and you get a lifetime access to the Discord. Even if you become a member for just one month, you will always have access to the Discord. Hope Robbie wins. Me too, buddy. Me too. Until later tonight, see you folks for LFA. See you folks for Fair Text Fights. See you folks on the member stream. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. One Friday Fights 24 Reyes vs. Punk Series is in the books. Like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. And I will see you folks later today. Two more fight companions, one member stream, and plenty of content coming out for all you amazing folks. Shout out to everyone who supports this channel. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you folks in a few hours for LFA.